Top of the morning, baby. Top of the AM. Shout out to everybody. God bless everybody, man. I got to call my man. I got to call my man, Steven's mother, man. Excuse me. Pardon me, y'all. Let me just share this live real quick. And um, get right to it. Little, little sharing. Sharing is caring. On Facebook, real quick, and put it on um, Instagram. Smell me, send it out. I gotta do it. I said, Let me do a little quick live, man. To all the people, shout out to my nigga St. Laz, man. He's doing a marvelous job with his channel. Go support that. Uh, uh free Shasha, you know, I posted the uh. That live to my page, man. That's the least I could do. I wish I had bread like that. I was snatching right out, man. Being up on the island 44 months, man. Not seeing nobody, you know. You know, I I, I don't know how that feels, but I, I I have one case that I fought where I was in Queen's house and um they used to wake me up every morning. I went to I went to court every day. And they would wake me up at like 5.30 in the morning to take me downstairs to the basement and leave me in those bullpens till 9 o'clock to go back upstairs to get waking up at 5.30 again. Like for like two weeks straight, they did that to me. So that, that bullpen shit is torture. You feel me? It's torture, man. Nobody wants to go through that shit. Straight up and down. My bad, y'all. I'm just sharing the um the live real quick. But you know, free that man. You know what I'm saying? Shout to everybody, man. Shout to um, shout to my guy um, he bought over. That's a wonderful person. Shout to everybody, ODP, Tommy. Shout to the homie G Mac, Billy, Jen. Teresa, shout out to Mario, Reno, shout out to my man, Barn. You know, and that's what we do, man. I don't know. I can't speak for everybody else, but I, I these these winter months, I always get, like, depressed around them because it's so cold and it gets dark so quick. You know, money's funny sometimes, you know. Shout out to my son, E from Bushwick. You feel me? What's up, Pamela? Good to see you, ma. I see you. When I see you, Pamela, my day gets brighter. Straight up. You want to go on. It's a lot of good people out there, though. You know? I'm not here to judge anybody. You feel me? I'm not here to judge anybody. I'm here to, to try to be the best person I can be. I'm here to drink my coffee. Shout out to Mikey B, man. That's my boy. Go support his channel. Shout out to um, Moshe. Shout out to all, all these guys got positive channels, man. You know, you know what I notice a lot with YouTube. Like with like, people love, people are entertained by buffoonery, right? So some, let's say some shit jumps off, right? And um, you know, as it's, it's, dudes is fighting with each other, cursing each other out. Uh, uh, men and women, 
inviting each other to the Frank stand, being disrespectful, cursing each other, cursing each other's mothers, uh, saying, saying they're going to beat them, kill them, slap them, shoot them. There'll be 500 people in that chat. <laughs> Word up. Which is fine. I don't like. I said I'm not here to judge nobody. If that if that's what you're into, so be it. You feel me? But let's acknowledge the chats that they, that don't go down that as well. Like like chats like Saint Laz, uh, chats like Mikey B. You know, chats like chats like my man True. Buffoons are. It is fun sometimes, but. You know, if that's all you're about, you know, what is what are you doing with your life? You <laughs> know, like what I don't, you know, I you know, I, I I watch a show every now and then. Me, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Like let's say I'm what's up, Becky? Good to see you, ma. God bless you. Let's say I'm outside, right? And and shit pops off. What's up, Steven? And um people are fighting and yelling. And I, I I get up out of there. I seen enough, enough of that in my life. You dig? I don't want that negativity in, in my brain. And it could go left and do start shooting, pulling out knives. So I'd rather just get away from that shit. You feel me? That's me, though. You know? I've seen people be murdered. I've seen a few people be murdered. Not just one or two. I've seen a few people be murdered. It's, it's times that I've seen people be killed that I forget about. Like, I've Seen it so often, or shot, or stabbed, or beat, or you know what I'm saying? I seen one dude be killed, man. Let me tell you something. This is how fast you could be involved in something. They killed this dude one time, right? I ain't gonna, you know, drop names and talk about, but I could have been involved in the situation, and I chose not to be because it was enough people already tearing homie up. You feel me? And they ended up killing him. And I could easily have participated. You feel me? The one kid I know was doing time for the body. You feel me? Like, that's how fast to go from... You know what I'm saying? Like, when you when you come together and you see all this violence and all that shit, you know, me personally, it, I don't want no parts of it anymore. People forget, man, that it could go from zero to 100. All it takes is a stabbing of somebody in the heart. You don't got to stab somebody 50 times to kill them. You stab them one time. All it takes is one heart shot or a lung shot or, you know what I'm saying, catch them in the in a vital organ. That's all it takes. Or you hit a, you hit a, a artery. You cut an artery. That's all it takes. It don't take... Oh yeah, yeah. I got. I gotta get. I gotta make some. I, I'll be. I'll be. Um. I gotta make some of that shit. I got some there. I forgot. I gotta make some, man. That shit helps me. What's up, Jess, man? God bless you, man. How's everything? I see your daughter, man. Your daughter's growing. She's she she's growing into a beautiful princess, man. God bless you guys. <clears throat> Time passes so fast, man. What's up, Scotland? But like I said, that's why I don't. I would rather stay away from negativity because I've seen people be killed. Another time, they you know a situation happened, and and I wasn't in, involved in this situation, and they killed the wrong a, a person who had nothing to do with nothing. You understand what I'm saying? My man, my man shot at him out the other day. None of this shit that I be saying is 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 fraudulent. It's all true. You know, and that don't that don't sit well with me. That's why when I see when I see shit going left, I get away from it. You know, may may both of those young men rest in peace. Cause neither one of them deserved to die. Like I said, the the first situation, I'm not gonna get into detail because I don't wanna, you know, that's not for me to talk about here, but that could have been avoided, both situations. Killed the nigga. Like I said, one, one, one dude that I know is, is doing a bid for it right now. I don't know if he's home or, or, you know, but it could go left. 
you know, in the, in the blink of an eye. And once you start seeing people be killed and, and a lot of violence, it, it, it turns you off of that shit. You know, in jail, in the streets, in the ghetto, in the projects, in the store, wherever. They don't got to be in the ghetto either. You know, we live in a violent world. We live in a very, very violent world. We live in a world where um, they make weapons that could destroy 50,000 people in one shot. You, like, that don't even make no sense. Like, like, why would you make an atomic bomb that can kill somebody, that could kill, destroy the whole planet? People are out of their mind. But anyway, God bless everybody. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> I got you atomic bomb for Christmas. Oh, this coffee is so good. It is so good. The last time I put a little too much milk in it. Power. Mm -hmm. Power. I'm okay, Jess. You know, th th usually during this time of the year, I, I get I fall into depression. You know, the cold weather, the it gets dark at fucking three o'clock in the afternoon, you know, I fall into, into serious bouts of depression. Then, you know, my man got uh, died the other day. That's been weighing on my mind a lot, you know. May he rest in peace, man. You know, I'm not, I wouldn't tell his mother this, but the day that he died, I was thinking about him and his mother. And I told myself, please, God, don't let me get no phone call saying he passed because you know he was living that type of life where you could die at any minute you know it's all good jess you know we all go through shit. that's why i come do these lives because it helps me it, it, it's, it's therapeutic you know yeah i i, I, I get depressed this time because i i don't like i hate when it gets dark early I'm at my happiest when it gets dark at nine o'clock and the sun comes up at four, four o'clock in the morning, you know, like those, that's, that's when I'm at my happiest, you know, it's going to be hard. I don't want to be out there running around scrambling and it's zero degrees either. The money ain't going to be good this month. Sometimes you got to just be easy, man. I'm lucky, man. I got people that love me. I love my aunt, man. I love her. She's a great person. She looked out for me. You know, people remember though, man. When I when I was getting money, I used to always look out. At first, my aunt wouldn't take no money off of me. She's like, "Yo, that's dirty money." But one day, I had a talk with her. I said, "Yo, listen, there's no such thing as clean money. D. Take that shit." And she started to take it. Yo, what's up? What's up, um, Murpho? You know. But she's always been good to me, man. I came home from jail and stayed here. She looked down for me till I got on my feet. You feel me? I'm the closest to her. Yeah, I hate it. I hate winter. You feel me? I, I like um I like summer and spring. Those are my favorite um months. You feel me? We'll see, man. You know, like I gotta um I gotta just what's it called? Uh Brave the Winter. You feel me? Once once the, the winter gets out of here and it's not 20 degrees, then I'll you know be able to get money better. But when it's cold like this, nobody wants to run be running around out there scrambling, trying to get bread. Like that's And money is funny. But, you know, listen, I'm thankful for life, though, man. You know, I'm not, I don't want to act like I'm ungrateful. You know, I'm thankful for you guys in this in this chat. I'm thankful for my channel. You feel me? I'm thankful for my house. I'm thankful for everything, man, for this coffee, for my cat. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact, Murph. That's a whole fact. 
you know. And and this is something I gotta deal with. I never yo, even when I was a little kid, right? I used to get um depressed around winter time, right? And I never knew what it was. But then said, What's up, Kells? God bless you. You know, Frank was the first one to really even be, you know, talk about it and talk about seasonal depression. I had heard about it, but he, you know, he he broke it down one day on his live. You know. And it's just very true. And like I said, I got I, I was thinking about my man the other day. This is the real shit. I swear to everything I love. I was in the bathroom. Right. I'm coming out the shower. And I'm getting my shit together. And. um, I started to think about my man. I don't know why. You know, I started to think about my man and his mother. Because she looked out for me. You know, when I didn't have nowhere to live, she looked out for me. She put me up. And um, I started to think about my man. And I said, I pray that I don't get a call telling me that he passed away. And that that day, I got a call. I'm not saying I'm psychic or have, you know, but it was just, it's just crazy how that happened. You know, he had, he had, um, he had overdosed a year or two back. And he passed like he 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 uh he flatlined but he came back you know and that's why I'm, i was thinking you know god forbid i get another call and it happened man i don't know what he if, if he died of a heart attack or an overdose or i don't know what the cause was but when you're out there living like that you know it's, it's your 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 prone you know you can it can happen I don't know why I'm here talking to y'all, man. I've been in stages in my life when y'all would have looked at me and, 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 and cried. Like my man, my man cried one time when he see how bad I was, and he, you know what I'm saying. My man Rich that passed away. You know, we I'm a nigga that be out there like that. You know, and I always got money. You understand what I'm saying? See, when you ain't got no money, it's harder to indulge but when you get money you know you could go buy three or four bundles of dope you know what i'm saying like that you know you could you could kill yourself like that you dig i don't know man god just loves me man i love him too you know i know my day is coming soon though but you know until then i just do what i gotta do what's yo what's up what's up um uh uh Juancito, uh, uh, God bless you and the family. God just loves me, man. He loves us. You know, God is great. That's a fact. Yeah, man. I used to man, be out there wilding. Wilding, nigga. All types of fucking nutty shit. Crazy shit, man. Shit that I can't even explain to you. You know? I got so much in my on my chest that I need to let it out. You know? And then this helps me. I, I, I did a lot of sinning, man. You know, a lot of my mans is dying, man. A lot of my, my peoples that I was running around out there, they dead. Rich, Kenny, Steven, you know. Rest in peace, my man's show. You feel me? I'm thankful, though. Like I said, during around this time of the year, I get depressed, though. You know, my man died the other day. That shit hit me. I was thinking about him. I said, I pray that I don't get no phone call concerning him. And it happened that day. I swear to you. And I still haven't called his mother, man. They sent me messages. You know, all right. Yeah, we're going to do the tubies this Friday. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do the tubies this Friday.
doing this Friday, man. Yo, what's up, Kilo, man? Love you too, man. You know, my man Steven died, man. You know Steven. He's out there in Florida, too. Words to everything I love, man. I was thinking about him. Rest in peace to my to to, to Stephen, man, aka Casper. Feel me? It's, it's it, I'm telling you, I was thinking about him that day. Stephen, light skinned Stephen. I used to be running around with him. He got a sister named Haley. She, she goes out with local uh, Melvin's um, uncle. Shout to local too, man. What's up, Billy? Good to see you, ma. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, he passed away, man. That was my road dog, man. And I never forget that nigga looked out for me, son. He went to the birth your birthday party? Yeah, 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 nigga, he passed, son. May he rest in peace, man. You know, my, my heart is hurt, man, because like I said, I was I was um I was thinking about him and I was praying, you know, to God that I don't get no phone calls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a wild boy, man. That was my nigga, man. That was my dude, man. He did a lot of time in jail, too. Me and him had bought a shotgun one time. He caught a case with it. And it was off the chain, Stephen, bro. That was my man. May he rest in peace. Yes, it's the good people, man. I don't know if they're out there. Um, Haley's a great person, bro. His other sister, too. They all passed. Marvin, Stephen, and, and Pitbull, they all passed. Marvin was my man too. Marvin overdosed and went into a coma. I went to see Marvin in the hospital. You know, are they out there? Yo, yo, Haley's good people, man. You know, I'm just in a in a bad state of depression, man. It's the weather. It's the getting dark early. You know. You know, may, may, may God forgive him for his sins and take him to paradise. You know, a lot of death, man. My little brother, <clears throat> Rich, Stephen, Jonathan, Marco, like, God damn. Your life is serious, man. Good to see you though, Billy. Man, I, I I'm I'm glad you, you know. I always send you the invitation, you know, make sure you're good. Life life is young, man. I mean, life is short. You know, don't spend it, you know, uh, being negative and 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 and, and you know, yeah, holiday depression, yup. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, you know, I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, um, you know, it's, it's the, it's the cold weather and, the, and it gets dark early and all that shit. That shit bothers me, you know. And like I got, I got that phone call the other day. I, yo, it's to the point where I see people, certain people's names on my phone. I'll be like, God damn. Yeah, that's a fact. Stop holding grudges. Make peace with your loved ones, man. You know? Excuse me. Rest in peace to my man, though. That was a good nigga. That nigga looked out for me. Like hard body. 
Oh shit. Oh, that was good. Oh, thank you, Pamela. You're the best. <laughs> you, you know what I thought it was? I thought that the, the they they the people owe me money. I like, yeah, they save me my money. Thank you, Pamela. I love you, man. I appreciate it, man. All right, Kilo. Yeah, life is short, you know. Appreciate you. Word, man. Four major surgery back, so I've just been trying to recover, but I miss you guys. And sometimes I just need to take a step back for no doubt, Billy. Like I said, you know, you do what's best for you. I'll just I'll just you know be checking up on you. I know you're a real one, you know. Yo, what's up, ODP, man? Yeah, you know, like I said, once yo, but once once the weather breaks, I get I break, it's like I get up out of the depression. Once like February comes. I said, and then there's money too. When the when the warm, whenever there's warm weather, there's always money for some reason. I don't know why. <clears throat> you know, there's always whenever there's um warm weather, there's there's money out there. Yeah, it gets dark sometimes, Billy. That's a fact. Let me see if I find a picture of my man, yo. I think it was official tissue, though, you heard? It was about his business, you know? And if he loved you, he would share with you. You know, he, he you know, I didn't, I didn't, I had, I had gotten, um, you know, I, I, I had an apartment, right? I'll tell you guys a quick story. I had an apartment. He loved left but he'll, he'll tell you you know oh well yo, <laughs> yo tom what yo tom yo tom yo you cheer me up tom that's a fact nigga when you come in here tom shady <laughs> tom you cheer me up bro I'm fried. thanks for coming in bro thanks for fred thanks for robbing me <laughs> yo tom yo tom stick stick around for a while don't nobody shoot tom that's my boy he knows I like that shit that he plays with me like that. <laughs> Run mine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he makes me laugh. That shit cheers me up when he comes in here and does that. So, <laughs> my man Tom. Yo, Tom, where you from? If you don't mind me asking. <laughs> You gotta be from New York, though. I could just, I could tell a, a New York nigga. I could just tell, man. Let me see if I find a picture of my man Stephen, bro. May, may, may uh, he rest in peace, man. Oh man, bro. Wow. My man, son. Wow. Wow. I got to call his mother, man. Show a picture of my man, yo. He looked like a white boy, but he was Puerto Rican. You know what I'm saying? Let me show a picture of my man, yo. Show a picture of my man. That's him with his wifey. God bless him, bro. May he rest in peace. And he looked like a white boy, but he's straight up Puerto Rican. You know what I'm saying? Let me show a picture of my guy. Man, that's my nigga right there. 
May you rest in peace, man. We love you, bro. My man, Steven, man. He was about his business, believe me. Sometimes people see a, a, a nigga that look like a white boy, they think he's sweet. He was a strong nigga too, man. He was one of the real strong niggas being. May he rest in peace, B. He's my dude. And it was off the hook. He looked out for me, yo. I was, I was, uh, I was, I had, um, I was, I had an apartment, right? A nice apartment, real nice. It had parquet wood floors. It was beautiful. I had a, everything was smooth, right? So I used to give my man the money to get to the landlord, right? And the nigga stopped giving the money to the landlord. I come home one day, there's a fucking eviction notice on the door. Anyway, one slap <laughs> later, <laughs> um, you know, we got evicted. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's when I, Stephen called me from up north. And he was like, yo, I was like, yo, shit is rough right now, son. This nigga wasn't giving, paying the landlord the money. And he's, his stupid nigga got us evicted. And I was getting, I was getting money at the time. It's not like, you know what I'm saying? Like, anyway, long story short, he said, yo, I'm going to tell you my, my mother to let you stay with her. And that nigga got his mother on the phone and told him, yo, that's my man. Let him stay with you. She looked out, man. God bless his mother, man. I gotta, I gotta call her later, man. You know how you dread, you dread calling someone that, you know, that's lost someone. You know. So what, what, yo, um, Billy, what, what's the situation? Is your back? That back shit, I got it too. The lower back area, I got all that shit, man. You know, the older you get, the worse it is. Canada definitely is cold. It's cold, right? ODP out here. Let me see what the what the what the um is twenty six. Where you at, Murph? It's yes, yeah, the same thing. But then you know what it is. If it's twenty six, the wind chill makes brings it down to like twenty. You dig? Oh, okay. God bless you. You know you in, in our prayers, though, Billy. Yep. I pray that you heal, man. You know? There's so much stuff that could go left in life, you know? God is great, though, man. I pray. I thank Him for every um, uh, every day. You know, I try not to get too stressed out because I know I'm 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 just lucky just to have life. You know. Okay, so what if I got back pain and you dig? You know, you gotta be thankful just to have life. Who's from Nova Scotia? Wamla. I always thought Wamela was from um, DMV, from uh, Maryland, Washington, D.C. Yeah, life is precious, man. You know, rest in peace to history, rest in peace to ODP's wife. You know, I'm, I'm aware, you know. Yeah, you're from Washington, right? Shout out to Washington. Who's from, but, um, uh, um, what's her name, man? What's her name? Tammy's from, um, yeah, recipes, Gary. Yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to even, Pam is from Australia. Good day, mate. 
Shout out to all the Australian uh, people that come through Aussie, uh, Game of Death. There's a bunch of Australian people. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm glad I threw the chat, man, so we could all be here, you know. God bless everybody. Let me see. You know, I'm, it's so cold. I don't even want to run around and, and get paper. <laughs> it's cold out there, nigga. You know? YouTube was supposed to give me a nice check. I hope they um I hope they give me my, my money. <laughs> Word up. Turn this off. You know, I'm glad y I'm glad I got to see y'all today, man. You know, always always um be thankful for your life, man. Tell people you love them. You know, you don't never know when like when you know when God is gonna call for them. It's my man, son. You know how that shit just be it just it consumes your thoughts. Cornwall. Uncle Corny. Scotland, Scotland is far, man. <laughs> yo, Scotland, yo, Scotland. <laughs> yo, Scotland. What would you do if I, if I, if, if, if um, you hear the bell ring and I, you see, and I, um, I'm there with my suitcases. <laughs> He put me back on the show, my man. You fucked up. <laughs> we cool on YouTube and everything, but <laughs> if I show up at your door, you know how you know how niggas be. They got the um, the um, what's them called? The um, the flippers. I got my flippers. <laughs> I got the um, <laughs> I got the um, what's that shit? The 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 shit that they be in the pool with the the duck with the you know it's you you uh you go inside of it I don't, I don't know what you call them shits <laughs> in, <laughs> oh man my tennis rackets <laughs> my flippers to go swimming yup me and odp we out odp um, get the tickets, man. We're going to, we're going to visit Scotland, man. <laughs> Word. Just ding dong in water wings. Yeah, yeah, that's it. On top of that, you're the vacation ready, baby. Hello? Like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Yo, look, look, Scotland. <laughs> With the suitcase, the ball, the thing. The <laughs> With the flippers to go swimming. What's up, Bailey? <laughs> Me and me and ODP, we out, man. We're gonna ask some Puerto Rican adobo. <laughs> yep, that's how I'm gonna show up. <laughs> like, hey, Scotland. <laughs> Word up. Strip, what's up, doing? Good to see you, mom. <laughs> I 
coming with my with my road dog ODP. Run down on all the the the, ch the chicks in, in Scotland, all the fine chicks. <laughs> Make sure you 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 your your ODP man. Make sure you pack all the all the um you know the 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 pregnancy prevention material. You don't want to leave out of Scotland and have uh, leave some uh, seeds over there. You get a you get a knock at the door one day, and it's a kid that looked like you with freckles. Yep, ODP. I'm gonna run through Scotland. <laughs> you looking for a, a, a what's that called? Uh, uh, what's that called? A leprechaun. Let me drop the link, man, in case anybody won't come up for a little while. Shout out to my man, True, man. I see True this thing on the video game tip. Them niggas really play them video games. What they said, you said beans and toilet. I missed that. Blood pudding, okay. Beans and toast and blood pudding. I said, we yeah, out, ODP. Remember, uh, pregnancy prevention, the flippers, uh, a, a bucket. <laughs> this is what we got. In. Oh, the UK don't got peanut butter jelly. Say word. Shout out to the UK. When, when you when you think of of like food and stuff like that, the UK ain't the first place that pops up. In. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To me, if, if if we're gonna talk about food and um stuff like that, I would say Spanish, Italian, uh Spanish, Italian. I say some Asian, there's some good Asian cuisine as well. Are oh, you going raw dogging? No doubt. I would love I would like to go to um I would love to go to um to London. You feel me? England or, or even Scotland or you know. <laughs> Speaking of jelly. <laughs> ODP is crazy. Excuse me one moment. Let me go take a piss break. Back in one minute.
meglio. Un Vabbè, io ho to take a leaky leak. What's up, Haley? I forgot Haley was in the building, man. We got, we got, Europe is, is represented heavily right now. We got Europe, we got uh, Scotland, we got Haley, we got um, who else is in the building from um, other side of the, the, the map? Oh, Becky G. Bubble and squeak, baby. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. Bubbling and squeaking. How I'm sounding? How's the audio? Do, should I put my headphones in? Oh, am, am I good? Yeah, shout out to the little, little short feet, baby feet. That's what I like. I like women with little feet. I like short women. I, I can't do the. I don't. I don't feel right having a girl that's um, six feet tall. You dig? All right. Thanks, Murph. Like that's not a good look for me. The, the tallest girl I ever had was like five nine. What's up, Aussie? It's O two twenty a.m. and you're at work. All right, that's what's up. Get that paper. You know I'm all for that. We got we got Australia in the building. We got Europe in the building. That's what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, streets don't got no accent? Let me find out you pump faking. What's up, Victor? Wamela loves Idrisaba. Shout to Idrisaba. Yo, shout to Idris Alba for being one of the most talented people ever. That nigga is an actor. He does a lot of American roles, and he's got a, a British accent, right? Plastic money, yeah, man. That's they, they they trying to get rid of a uh, paper money. That's a fact. Oh, let me take it. Let me take my time and all. Let me take my time and all. Rhyme and all. And yo, he he makes music. He he's a he raps everything. That nigga's official. He's got. I'm telling you, that nigga's got a British, a British accent. He does. He talks just like an American. That's my nigga. I was just watching that movie with him. Um, what's the name of that movie? The 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 comic book movie that he he does. Uh, Suicide Squad. That's my shit. Part two. <laughs> they killed it with part two. That was a good one. Uh, 
Oh, that coffee was magnificent. Yeah, he, he was good in um in um what's the name of that show? The corner, not the corner, um. Oh man, what's the name of that by Baltimore? He's a DJ. That nigga's talented, man. Yeah, he's a beast. He's a beast, man. Shout out to him. So we're gonna do the, the two beats this weekend. I think it's gonna be a double whammy. It was the two bees and um what was the other one? Maybe it won't be a double whammy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the name of the show? String a bell. Not the corner. Somebody tell me the name of the goddamn show. The Wire. The Wire. Yes, we we're we're um we're we're accepting um nominations for the two Bs and um the two Bs will be done this Friday. Most uh, 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 perverted maniac of YouTube. It, I nominate ODP. What's up, Latina? Good to see you. Hope everything is well with you and your and your, and your family. Matter of fact, let me. I'm gonna put the two B's up right now. <laughs> I gotta pay my motherfucking. I'm streaming you up. <laughs> We might not even have the two. <laughs> now nah, I'm I'm okay. I'm gonna be okay. Hold on a second. Let me let me put that up as I'm talking to y'all. The two bees. To be or not to be. <laughs> Depends if I pay the two or the, the YouTube bill. <laughs> yes. Yo your ODP. Let me let me um. Let me um do you a favor. Uh, I'm going to let you know something. I'll let you know early. You won. <laughs> you won the Tubi for most brains, perverted, <laughs> uh, uh, maniac, Bronx maniac of YouTube with a, good, with a golden heart. <laughs> so yeah, we're we're definitely accepting um nominations and um you know let me like I said let me advertise it right now. There you go, stream you up. Okay, create live stream. YouTube awards the two B's description the most demented award show on YouTube that's the description right there Okay, schedule for later. Yes, we schedule for later. Uh, Friday. What time, y'all? Around seven. Seven is good, right? Because I don't want to wait till too late. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to wait till nine o'clock and all that shit. Seven is good. Seven it is. Okay. Is that PM or AM? PM, right? Yeah, 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 PM. All right, y'all, we locked in. I 
just took a nice shower like two hours ago. I love to feel clean. I got to get a haircut for the tubies. Word. So, you know, come through, man. That's it. Come through where you're the best, where the um, guys wear your tuxedo shirts. <laughs> Ladies, don't wear anything. Okay, hold on a second. So the YouTube Awards is, is locked in for Friday, y'all. I think we're supposed to be doing, yeah, you got to claim it. Anything over 600, that's a fact. Yeah, yeah, like Howie Mandel, right? It's just good to be clean. You know what I'm saying? It's just really good to be clean. I got to get me one of these shirts right here. I need one of these. I'll be sporting this for the two bees. I'm about to just take a t-shirt and draw that on it. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up and down. Aye. Big Bushwick. We're going to do it up. So if you want to nominate anybody from here to there, let me know. <coughs> Tomorrow we're going to do a a, a, a a show on the Mapogo Lions documentary. I found a, a place that, ha that, that has the documentary in beautiful high definition. So we're going to be doing it on the Mapogo Lion documentary tomorrow. Around 8 o'clock, I guess. Oh, so then you, oh, all right, I, I forgot that you, um, so then, then, um, you going, nah, so go at, go at 7, or what, what time do you usually go, Murph? You know, I don't be remembering nothing. What time do you usually go? What time do you usually go? Um, does your show usually go on? Nah, I don't know. So, um, six o'clock, eight, huh? There, there ain't nobody there. Um, eight thirty, you said eight to eight thirty. All right. So, what, what, what time would you? Six is your normal time. The auction. All right, so I'll do it at nine. Let me change it. Un momentito. If somebody ring the bell and it ain't one of my peoples, I don't even open the fucking door. You never know that could be the CIA. <laughs> Hello. 
Mr. Lopez, come with me. I said, no, I'm good. That's a that's a, a lesson to the people in the chat. If somebody rings your bell and it ain't one of your peoples, fuck them. Throw hot water on them. Take it back to um, Bushwick, 1987. All right. Throw fucking boiling hot water on them. They took me, yo, real shit. They, the, the warmer squad took me out of this house before. Rest in peace, my, my little brother. He let them in. I was sleeping. I got woken up. I'm like, yo, what up? He said, yo, they looking for you. <laughs> but yo, let me tell you something. That was the most nicest two police I've ever seen in my life. They let me put away because I had weed on me and they said, yo, go put that away. And they took me right to before the judge. They should all be that good. Shout the good police, man, that don't treat people like shit. Shout to the people, police that don't arrest people for bullshit. Let people slide. Hold on a second, y'all. I'm adjusting the time to the Tubi Awards. You? What's up, Murpho? Yo, my phone's being a piece of shit, so sorry if I sound horrible or anything. It just took me like 10 minutes to get up here. No, you sound good. All right, cool. Um, Yeah, no, I was confusing myself. It was just easier to get up here real quick. You you said 7 o'clock. You're still good with that. Like I said, I do 420 to 6, so I'll just push everybody to you at 7. All I'm saying is at 8, I was doing like – I have like – three three or four christmas items and barn's going to make a shirt we're just going to auction them off to give the money to somebody for christmas right so that that might not even be a half hour that might be 10 minutes 10 15 minutes yeah so i don't even want you to move your time because it would be pointless all right okay not for not for 10 15 minutes you know what i'm saying all right the two bees is back on (laughs) (laughs) but what i was saying what i was saying in the comment was I missed the last two of these. Yeah, yeah, we both did. Um, what I was saying in the comments, though, is you were saying about paying the stream yard. I was saying you're wasting your money. Why? There's no reason for you to – because I do everything you do for free, right? Mm-hmm. I have people – I only thing you get by paying, you get – obviously, you get unlimited time up there. You only get 10 hours for free. That would probably be the, but I don't know if you go over 10 hours. Yeah, I do. I'm thinking because you probably do a few, you probably do a few two hour, John. So yeah, that might be the only issue you ran into. But like I was, I I was telling Richie about it. It's like, you know, the layouts people put up to block the screen, like to block P bombs and shit like that. Yeah. Those layouts, that's the only thing beneficial about paying. And then you get six, you get that. For free, you only get six people. But when you pay, you get 10. So that four free yeah, people and them layouts. So that's what I was saying. Like I, I stopped paying for it a while ago. Yeah, but you Just don't go on as much as I do. I go on. No, no, no. I go on once a week. Well, wait, but three times a week. Two off my channel. Yeah, I go on. I go Friday and Sunday. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That would make probably 
thinking about it now, that would probably be the only thing that would hurt you would be you only get that 10 hours. And sometimes you probably do 20 in a month. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. I go, I go over. What do they give you? 10 hours for free? Yeah, but you can 10 go for live free. off YouTube. Gee, yeah, you but you YouTube can go live off uh, YouTube now, too. Oh, yeah? yeah. Well, you With, can because you're over a 1,000, but now everybody can. Kenny was I'm, live off YouTube yesterday. Yeah, but you can't bring people on the panel. You can invite other like you. You can invite one person, I think. I don't know how many it is, but if you were on YouTube, you could send it to me and share it with, and I could come up. Mm -hmm. It's not mm -hmm. the same as StreamYard, but they're trying to, you know, they're out. trying to even the playing field, but it takes time. But right, that's what I'm saying. With the StreamYard, it's like try to look at how many hours you put in a month. If, if YouTube if it's like, does mm -hmm. it to where you can bring people on the panel, they're gonna ruin StreamYard. Well, StreamYard ruined YouTube. Yep. So they would try to be getting even, right? StreamYard ruined it. When I came, when me and you started YouTube, what was our goal? Hitting a thousand so we could fucking go live. Mm -hmm. Then StreamYard came around, and me, you, Barn, Tommy D, all four of us hit a thousand and didn't go live off YouTube at all because StreamYard had already existed for so long. Well, before StreamYard, I did um, I got um, uh, what's that shit called? Of uh, there was another one that I used to use, but that you could. Bro, I, wish, I wish StreamYard came out a few years sooner, like even a year sooner, because I used to do like a. I was getting all my homies that were rappers and shit. And I was interviewing them. I had to do it on Facebook because nothing else could do it. I tried to do it on IG. IG wasn't good enough at the time. You couldn't go and you couldn't go live on YouTube without a thousand. But they made StreamYard, and then people with no subs could go live. So it kind of changed the whole game. Yeah, there's people there's, now that might be getting a check, a nice check from YouTube every month that two years ago probably had no idea they'd even be a content creator. Well, you know what I mean, like I said, well, we all came into it trying to get to that thousand to go live. Some people prism. started going live. Prism. 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 Yeah. I don't know that. That was the name of the, the only thing. prism I know is the old channel. What's up, Tommy? Tommy D. You, you, what up, what up? What up, brother? We thought you were MIA. Where, where the hell Tommy been? Thought he, fe thought he fell into an engine. That's who no. mob like you've been seeing it. I've, I know I've been around. I've been around. I, I haven't seen you. I haven't really been around much either, though. Yeah, it was Prism. I said, that was the name of the... the, the I um, said earlier, the, though, G, your chat was having an old school feel. I was on yeah. his channel yesterday. Wasn't I, Just, G? It was... Fuck. I think you were, I wasn't on yesterday. You could have been. Yeah, I've been around. I had yeah, prison is what I mean. Prison yeah, what was, was that? Do you like another like that was like H, that was like HBO, I thought prison. That's what I know, day. Tommy. I think he means something different though. Oh. I was gonna say Prism became stars. <laughs> no, Prism is the name of the app that I used to use to go live. Oh, oh okay. okay. Yeah, there's a bunch yeah. of apps. You can use a whole bunch of different before, ones. Before I was before saying that to him though, Tommy, StreamYard ruined that like he's he's well Quinn's comment was if YouTube makes it you could bring people up, it'll ruin StreamYard. I said, Well, StreamYard ruin YouTube. You used to need a thousand subs to go live. Now you don't need any. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, what when I started it YouTube. That was my goal. My goal was to hit a thousand so I could get monetized and go live and, and then StreamYard came out and I was going live when I had like two hundred subs. The shorts mm -hmm. are really showing a lot of love. Yeah, you get some views on the shorts, man. Yeah, the, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I think uh, especially, I don't know, man. It's just uh, about this time, you know. They're hit or miss, though. They're really and hit it, or miss. Videos you know? are hit or miss, too. Like, I dropped yeah, a long sure. video that went nuts, too. Like, yeah. you know, like, it's hit or miss. with It's like candy. Well, that's what it is. That's I feel why like you I'm hitting a do... slot machine. Seriously. You gotta, it is kind of, but there's certain things like your, your thumbnail and your title. That's why they tell you that's so important. It's like the algorithm... Yeah. Until you're in the algorithm, it, it's going to block you from people sometimes. And it's like yeah. my my biggest short is that jackhammer video. You have to bust your way like, into the algorithm. There's twenty two thousand views on a jackhammer video, but the ones where I'm telling like a joke or 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 reflecting on society, it's like four hundred. I'm like, yeah, I got twenty two thousand, and we were literally just jackhammering concrete. Mm -hmm. But that's yeah, the kind of things good. people will watch because it's coming. When you're not doing the job and you're watching, I'm about it, to go watch all my videos and watch every commercial. 
crazy funny. Yeah, How you much- can jumpstart your short by doing that. I I, yeah. I don't know if it works, but I do that a couple times. Like I'll I'll make my short go through like fifteen times in a row, and then sometimes they wind up flying off because you never know. It you timing know. matters. What time of day you share it, shit like that. Yeah, but sometimes I, I hit one last night at midnight, and it, I woke up, and it was at 7K. Like, sometimes, bro, it doesn't even mm-hmm. – it's I, it's like gambling, bro. It's a show. But you got to remember, it's midnight, little, man. midnight here is 5 a.m. in the UK. Well, that's what I'm it's saying. It's 2 like, p.m. in Australia. It's 8 p.m. in California. I think timing matters when you're up. doing it with yeah. the news, with, like, breaking look, trending this is topics. The old oh. um, um, uh, uh, that's how it used to look. It's how prism used to oh, be. it was black and white. Oh, or did you make it that. black and white? So I remember that. At the top, I remember that. Wow, that's my tag, by the way. And you I remember the, that, Junior. The, you uh, use that. The road of loop, be real. That's a fact. JB's still around. I'll be seeing him on a. Uh, yeah, he comes. I was in. Mess- I was in Messenger the other day, and his name was like it said he was active. Facebook Messenger. Through. Shout to him. Hey, a lot of shit's changed, bro. Three years, four years, a lot of shit's changed. But that's what I was saying earlier. It had that old school feel. Just everybody who, who was in the chat at the time. It's like, damn, this has that old school feel. Yep. Shout to Mob Life. I thought he was the old Mob Life. What's up? Uh, yeah, I know. I see. Yeah. I, I think I did pop in and see that yesterday, Tom. He's like, it's me. <laughs> I'm going to start a, yeah. another channel on serial killers, too. Right. Oh, your time. Me and Marley are gonna do that one together. Nigga, I That's seen good. one the other day, and you gotta see this one. This one was good, boy. Uh, who was it on? Good boy. This this kid named Michael Hernandez lured his two best friends to the bathroom in Florida, and he he was gonna kill one, but he had a funny feeling, like you know, he was like, "Nah, I ain't going into the bathroom with you, nigga. Something ain't right." And he left, and the other one did it. The next day they went back and did it again, and he killed this little man and stabbed him forty times, and um, wow. slit his throat in school in the bathroom, nigga. Oh man, dude, there's something wrong upstairs with that. He's fourteen yeah, years old. You heard about this guy old. the other day killed the elderly oh, black woman, the Uber God, driver. Bro. You heard of that, Tommy? Oh. The other day, the dude killed the uh, Uber driver, the elderly black woman. Is that the one? That um, started? no. Where is that yeah. in Philly? No, I can't remember where it is. But no, he oh, killed this Uber no. driver. He was a young black man, 29. She was a 50-something-year-old black woman, Uber driver. And he killed her. And then when they That's when they man. asked him why, he said when he woke up, he just wanted to kill somebody today. There was just eight teenagers that chopped up a, a white, 21-year-old white dude that was in the drug game. And wow. he had cooperated with the police when he was younger, right? They found out up. about it. He was trying to do one last drug deal, right? Because he had kids and stuff. He wound up going in with these kids. Yo, they they tortured him. <laughs> they tortured him, and they 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 wind up murdering him, and then they chopped Jeez. him up and set his body on fire, dude. It's a horrible story. These are wow. teenagers, 14, yeah. 13, 15. It's all Yo, that gang gang life, man. They was mm-hmm. check that out, Michael Hernandez in Florida. That case, yeah, is I'm gonna look sick. it up. Yeah, that's crazy. Forty he, times, there's something wrong with you, nigga. He was um the kid was like researching rage. serial killers. He was gonna kill his sister. He That's had a rage, it was, it was, man. Nigga, yeah, I was gonna say, if he, you stab somebody over ten times, bro, there's something wrong with you. That's like, brutality. You know, they, That's um, like uh, yeah, nigga, yeah, yeah. like they were his best friend. He he, <laughs> he he lures him to the bathroom. Right, he yeah. says, "Yo, come into the um into the handicap bathroom." Right, so um. One of the, the one that he kills goes in. The other one is like, nah, something ain't right. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I'll pass. I'm gonna go to class, right? So he don't do it right there. And then the next day, he lures the other one that that um did it the first day into it again. And yo, he butchers him. He tells him, turn around. I got a gift for you. And he just cuts his throat and lets him bleed out. But while he's bleeding out, he stabs him forty times. Nigga goes back to class with blood all over him. Right, no, like another kid walks in. Right, savage. He, go, he he sees him, so he goes like, he's like, yo, you see this? He's like, yeah, we gotta call the police or something. So he calls the police on himself, goes back to class, 
you know, they snatch him up. It's obvious who did it. You know what I'm saying? And yo, you gotta see the fucking um, they got his um what's that shit called? When they when they confessional, they got his confessional on wow. on YouTube. And he tells them, Yo, why you why you brought him into the bathroom? He says, So I could kill him. Damn. Because I was gonna kill him. No remorse, no nothing. Nigga, that's, right. that's, that's a gotta I see that case. It. I mean, you guys heard no, I know the, the, the Jason, the Jason Sweeney case. Actually, was serial killing. You remember that? His sister tried to kill his um, his Oh, wow. that's crazy, bro. You remember that time in 2003, Jason Sweeney? Michael Hernandez is his name. I don't think so, man. Yo, the little boy, he was a boy, too, like out of the whole group. He was the, he was the smallest one. You know what I'm saying? Like the other two dudes were bigger. He was a little, he was a little kid. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like he could they asked him why did you pick him? They was he was like, because I knew he couldn't defend himself. Because I right. knew he would trust me and he wouldn't defend himself. And I was gonna say that's the what they one, the he has that, to do. He has to do the other one that didn't get killed became a police officer. He was like, Yo, that should maybe become a cop. Wow. He was like, Whoa. They hit him with look, yeah. they gave him 30 years for the attempt murder for the one that didn't die, and they gave him life. For the other kids, so he had life plus thirty. Mind yeah, you, he's four kids I grew old. up with and shit. Four kids I grew up with murdered their friend for five hundred dollars. The girl just yeah, got man. out like two years ago. Yeah, bro. He had seventeen to thirty-five, and all the dude because she obviously was the you know she lured him there. She was the witness, and she didn't do his not the witness, but you know the the uh, the prosecution's mate. You know she snitched. There you go. She yeah, you, you know but. You she like she be. only set like she set dude up. She wasn't involved in the beating itself. You're still guilty, but the other three they fucking they beat their friend to death, man, for five hundred bucks, one hundred twenty five yeah, bucks a people look crazy, bro. There's another one. I send you both of them too. It's two twelve year old girls. They they stabbed the shit out of their friend. Oh, in the UK, right? For, no, for it, was in, um, man. it was in Wisconsin. Was um, oh no, that wasn't UK. That was US for for Slender Man, right? Slender Man. Yeah. That girl so lived. One of them is schizophrenic. Yeah, that girl lived. She lived. Yeah, that she lived. Someone walking by found her. Bro, you yep. watch those little girls being interrogated. There's something wrong with the one girl. Yeah, I and the dude it. told you. He said, I never go down this road, but something told me, go down this road today. And mm -hmm. he walked by and saw her laying at the yeah. other side of the they road. They said Slender Man told them to kill her friend. After them stabbing her all them times. That Slender Man shit though. could get scary with some of these kids online, bro. They'll mm -hmm. believe every fucking bit of that. That's why I always said people. Yeah, I said that, that to my kids. Anyway. I said that to my kids. I'm like, I'm not scared of Slender Man. I'm scared of what some fucking weirdo could do in the name of Slender Man. What's it Child called? Man. Um, you know, uh, breaking your house and kill your whole family because Slender the, Man told it. The what you call it? Um, the the little girl that the the one that stabbed her that popped it off on her. Um. Mm -hmm. Is schizophrenic. She hears yeah, voices. Yeah, for yeah. sure. For sure. She's the one that talked the other friend into we gotta do it. Da, 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 da. Yeah, bro. That was yo, but Tommy, you should look up the, 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 those two cases. Something like that, yeah. The, it's crazy. Especially the one with Michael Hernandez, because it's it's um serial killer related. He was infatuated with the serial killers. I always say, though, G, I don't like to blame the parents, but it's like, yo, how do your kids get away with all this shit without you realizing? Like, mm -hmm. I talk to my kids every fucking day. Like, I, if my kid was hiding a gun in his room, I would know. Yeah, like, well, you can't have parents. Usually warning um, signs. You could but know, but that, yeah, you know, that exactly. ain't going to change the, psych the psychological yeah. issues that those kids yeah. got. Like, it just. Well, that's what it is, G. They don't want to admit that. Murderers. But listen, but listen, they can, if they catch it early enough, if they catch a kid killing animals early enough, they can yeah. therapy, you know, they could really get him in the, and really try to, you know, negate that. Um, well, that's what it is. How many warnings are admitting it? How many parents are like feeling they not, failed? Yeah, a lot of people if, are. If I tell all my kids this way, that means I failed. I did something wrong, and it's like, no, your kid could just have something wrong with them. But that, like you said, there's always a, even the last couple school shooters. It's like, oh, there was an arrest two years before for making threats, and it's like, why are we taking threats so loosely? Like, dude, that one school like, shooter, the yeah. parents trained that kid to to be oh, a killer. Yeah. So that oh, I don't yeah. care that 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 was their fault in that in that mm -hmm. situation, and they deserve to go to prison. Listen, man, that's the problem nowadays. These kids don't give a fuck because their parents don't give a fuck. 
Dude, we were his kids parents we were, were white a supremacists, bro. The now they your were training him to be a soldier. Like they were, they yep. bought him weapons. They taught him how to shoot. They told him to do this, bro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like it's all them. Yeah, yeah, poor yeah that's, boy, that's what's wrong, bro. These parents don't fucking have no morals anymore, so the kids don't. We were kids. Your neighbor would pop you in the face for yeah. fucking around. And then your mom will find and out. And then your mom will beat you the fuck up for them beating you up. Nowadays, your mom will be not, why you hit my kid? Fight me, bitch. Like, your mom's 40 out there fighting. Like, come on. No morals no more. Yeah, same. man. You know, well, God bless that little boy, man, because he suffered a, ter a terrible fate. Hell yeah. I can imagine. And that's what I was saying, bro. You could tell these people are sick. It's like, I don't know how you could stab somebody more than five times. Five times they're probably dead or dying, like realistically. It's severe overkill. Yeah, and then they stab. Oh, he was stabbed 67 times. It's, it's an like identifying marker of psychosis. Um, unexpected or um, pent up rage yeah. and shit like that towards whatever situation you're taking out on them. But. And then the kid, because they, they gave him life plus 30 years, they, they passed a, a law in Florida that it's unconstitutional to give a juvenile life. So he went back. He got a retrial, and um, they caught him on the phone talking to Man, him. Man, he should have been tried as an adult. Yeah, they they um now they did try him as an adult, but um, okay. when um when he was a juvenile, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So they they um they said because he was a juvenile, it wasn't constitutional. You know what I'm saying? Um, so what you call it? They um. His retrial, right? He was talking to one of his pen pals on the phone from jail, and he was laughing and joking and saying, I don't know how I'm going to cry on this man. He was like, I'm going to have to stab myself to make myself cry. And, and you, like, I don't know how he doesn't know that all these phone calls are recorded. You've been in jail. Yeah, yeah for real. Seven years, yeah. nigga. Like, that causes a lot of people up because they either yeah. don't know or forget. You know what, yeah. though, bro? I I seen it even on the lowest level, G. One time I was in a district. I was in a 15th district. So they would send you there before you would go to, like, police headquarters, right? So it's like, you know, jail. So I'm in there, and, and they bring this dude in, and they're like, H you get your phone call, right? Now, mind you, this whole fucking cell block thing is probably, like, five by What's up, Christ? 15. It's probably five wide, 15 long. It is not long. It's like five cells. So dude goes over to pay phone and he's like, yo, you know them motherfuckers around there? Go get them. And the cop's like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? They hang up the phone. They're like, you can't do it. Like, dude is so stupid. He's echoing through the building, making a threat. Yeah. And I'm, that's when I realized how dumb people get when they get on a phone. Yeah. Yeah, you can. You got to be careful what you say. He said, go get them motherfuckers. What? I told them to go get my bail money. You don't even have bail yet, you fucking idiot. Shut up. And on what you call it, um... They played that shit on the stand. The kid was trying. He was crying too, like fake crying. The the the, mm. the the um the DA is like, yo, where's the water though? Where's the tears that come out? Yeah, we do cry. <laughs> we do. can stop now. He was. He told his sister, I I, I was just kidding. I wasn't gonna kill you. <laughs> wow. Yo, I seen that. I seen that, bro. That was crazy. That is fucking. Yo, did you see the other one with the judge who who said told the dude he's like, we're gonna classify you max. He's like, we're putting you in max, and everyone's gonna know what you did, baby killer. Good luck mm, yeah. with that. He's yeah, like, good luck bro. with that. Straight up, man. You know, judges yeah, be getting man. crazy, bro. They know that nothing's gonna happen to them. They had to earn their spot, and unless they truly break the law of the rule of law, they're not going nowhere. It was nice to you hear. You know, they don't play that shit. Area. Yo, there's a lot of gray area with judges. A judge could give you a month for ten years, and no one could tell him shit. Yeah, yeah, they could do whatever they want. The most court. you can do is take it to the Supreme Court, which is above him. He still won't be penalized. Yeah, judge, judges are, my discretion. They have their discretion. They're like gods in them courtrooms. Mm -hmm. They can do whatever they want. Bro, look what Judge Reynolds has been doing to the fucking people of Philadelphia for 20 years. How many buttons you got on your shirt? Yes, how many pigeons are how many pigeons are on the wire? How many people were in the bus? That's how mm -hmm. many months and years he would give people. When you got locked yeah. up, how many people did you get locked up with? Let's see. Six. Six years. Case closed. Like, what? The person's 14. You just you're fucked him till he's 20. He jaywalked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He spit. Yo, yeah. I, I'm telling you, Jim, when I got locked up, I got locked up for a fucking, a, probably a point eight of Reggie. Yeah, it was like 2000. Dude was in there, got locked up for a half a joint at the bus stop. He was an old head, like. 
old head black guy, probably like mid forties, fifties, working. He said, "Oh, I was waiting for the bus to go to work." Cop pulls up on me for no reason when they check my cigarette pack out after joint. They lock me up. I'm like, this is what we waste money on. But that's the whole system. They caught me with yeah. a point eight. I had to pay $150 restitution, yeah, 10 funny. hours community service. Yeah. Like they got fucking two grand out of my ass over that nigga. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's money. That's the whole system. That's the whole system, bro. Mm -hmm. They gave me a mandatory NA. I had to go to NA meeting. One meeting, mandatory. Yeah, what so is the first thing I call would I have a joint have business doing in an NA um, meeting? Like bro, that's what I'm saying. So I'm in there. And they're like, everybody go around the room, tell us what you're here for. And it's like, oh, the cops caught me with a joint. They go to me. I'm like, oh, the cops caught me with a little nickel and locked me up. People are like, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Goes around the room, starts getting a little huskier. Dude's like, oh, they caught me with two pounds. I was trapping. It's like, all right, maybe you should have been. <laughs> you, well, even, but, him. you know, even him. Even it's him, cool exactly. Stuff. But then they go to the next guy. And the next guy's like, oh, I've been addicted to crack for 13 years. I'm like, yo, what the fuck am I doing here? If 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 you get caught selling <laughs> drugs and you, don't, and you don't have any habits, you don't belong in NA. What are you doing there? Exactly. You're, you're taking a bet yeah. of somebody who might really want to get clean. He really needs it. Exactly. They, bro, the problem is shit is made too fucking easy nowadays. Can't lock nobody up. You can't. They made shit too easy. These kids are running through these schools like fucking psychos. I was just watching a video. The teacher was like, we're closing the school down. We're sick of getting beat up and nothing happening. Even the sheriff's like, uh, people didn't do this when they got their ass whooped. Maybe we should start bringing that back. Like, that's what a sheriff said on a press conference. This is how out of control mm -hmm. shit is. People are literally walking in jewelry stores, giving people the finger, and grabbing whatever they want. Nothing can I happen. I don't even want to send my kid to a school because they got all these school shootings now. Like, why would I want to send my kid to a school where they, you don't never know who's going to walk up in there? Every day. Yeah. That's why I got to get them in, in better schools. That's why people pay nowadays. You ain't getting no yeah. school shooters in no fucking private schools, Catholic schools. I'd rather have That's a robot a teach my kid. It's crazy. I'd rather have a robot the teach fucking, The shit they're indoctrinating. And it, the shit's getting out of control, and that's because there's no repercussions. Like... Yeah, I was watching a documentary on Columbine this morning, and mm -hmm. yo, the way those kids systematically plotted those attacks, oh, they knew and how, were. dude, that was vicious, bro. That was yeah. insane. Mm -hmm. That was sadistic. Yeah, yeah. Think of how many more people they would have killed if they didn't kill themselves first. Yeah, man. You know, they, they got scared, they got scared and ended it, but it's like how many kids were probably still in that school? They didn't all get out at that point. So you got to you got to appreciate on. you got to appreciate the police response and enough that it scared them into taking the you know. But that's serial mental illness. If you if you plot the death of tons of people and yeah. then kill yourself, you have serious mental illness. Yeah, but on the same tip, G, it shows you the extremes. They were of bullied. Yeah, they were that's bullied. what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm it yeah. shows the extremes. Because they there were plenty they of kids are bullied kids. that don't do that. Though. No, there were plenty of kids they didn't shoot that day. No Walked up to the kids that to your, you're your psyche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's kids that get bullied that don't that don't do that. So yeah, there's, there's there's definitely kids, some their DNA isn't like there. the ones that did do that. You know what I'm saying? It's too different. You know, and bullying, yo, I know I I hate to be bullied. I hate it. Bro. Bullying hits everybody, but some people get it worse. I hate to see it. I hate to, you know, I'm totally against that bullying shit. You know? Like I said, it was different when we were kids. You went home for the weekend. No one could bother you. Your bully didn't exist from fucking Friday to Sunday. Nowadays, he's in your fucking, they're on Reddit. <laughs> there's a Reddit group talking about you. You're fucking 13 year old little girl, and there's a fucking Reddit page against you. Like, what the fuck is wrong with the world? Look at this. The man known for the brutal murder of his best friend has died in prison. He died. I forgot to tell you that, that, that too. Oh shit! He oh, died. Yeah, he died. Yeah, they they um they they say it's either uh from obesity or he was getting high. But he was fourteen when he killed his friend Jaime uh, Go, stabbed Go more than more than forty times. Excuse me. Yo, gee, I meant to tell you and Tommy too. There's a documentary on Netflix. What the fuck is it called? The, the, the business drug. of drugs, I think it's called. And, yo, they're showing shit I never even imagined, like the fucking meth problem in South and East Africa. Mm. That they're showing fucking, do you know in, in Thailand, not Thailand, by Thailand, in, um, what the fuck is that place called? 
And somewhere in Southeast Asia, they have this pill called Yaba. They mix yeah, meth yeah, and, and caffeine into a pill. I heard of that Yaba. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. do you need caffeine for? Meth mm-hmm. and caffeine go into the pill, and that's uh, people are getting hooked on meth because of that. So it's like, yeah, yeah they were talking about that. It was about like places you would never fucking imagine, like fucking uh, the opioid crisis in the Middle East, the meth problem in South Af- South Asia, the fucking heroin problem in East Africa. It's like, yo, this shit is crazy. You never knew. It. And that's when I'm starting to ask, like, why are people so worldwide? Like they're talking to people in Africa and they're like, um, two years clean, I'm on meth. And I'm like, the same shit you hear over here. Mm-hmm. It's like, this is yeah. fucking East Africa. Yeah, they get the um the heroin from um Pakistan. That well, Afghanistan. That's what they're saying. Excuse me, Afghanistan. Well, they're saying that it kind of since with the war in Ukraine and everything like that, instead of Afghanistan going like straight over to the UK like they used to, now they're going down into Africa first and then back up. So it's shipping out of Western Africa instead of Western Europe. Right, and it's just not as regulated around the world as it is everywhere else. Tylenol has been linked to autism. Wow, wow, Tylenol should be linked to destroying your stomach. I know that much. I take it a lot, man. I had, I had to stop it. I can't take it no more because of my stomach. I like get headaches. That's crazy, man. I gotta look into that. That is crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's a good. It's a good. It's six, six episodes, different drug each episode, different place around the world. It's this lady that was a CIA uh, operative. Uh, what was she? I think she was an operative. Yeah, some. She's retired now. It's a woman, but she was going. She was right up in the fucking mix. She gave zero fuck. <laughs> they had to run into one place because they're like, all right, we, they were like interviewing a guy, and they're like, this is dangerous. And then they're like, yo, you gotta go. That dude down the street's taking pictures. Y'all gotta go. I gotta get some CBD, man. They they think they're talking so good about it. Yo, uh, Barn said it earlier in the comments. Gee, I think you might have missed it, but micro dosing with mushrooms right now is real yeah. good for depression. Yeah, real yeah, big yeah, for yeah. I seen mushrooms. Yeah, they're legal. They're legal all over the place now because mm-hmm. of that. Yeah, but to trip, bro. No, you don't trip. You're micro dosing. Micro dosing. Yep. So how do you feel? Like what? You know, a beat. You feel great. Be- it's like oh, taking mushrooms right. without the chain. You're without not going to lose them. Yeah, yeah. Without the yeah. Trip. Yeah, yeah, without, without, without the trip, right? It's just, yeah, it's just a little quick, you know, lifts your spirits. That's but yeah, a lot of people do. It's basically a mood enhancer. A lot of people are doing that in Colorado, California. I can you know. use a mood enhancer. <laughs> Listen, bro. It, 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 so could some I. Places, some places are using it to treat alcoholism. To get people from Yeah, drinking. why not? Tyson yeah. was saying that before. Remember? Yep. Yep. Can help Mike Tyson eats mushrooms it? all the time. <laughs> oh, dude, Tyson's funny with his He gets crazy with it. Yeah, he, he gets The he one gets dude blasted. was like, that's too much. He's like, just take a pinch of that handful. Mike's like, well, what'll happen if I take it all? They're like, yeah. me out of your fucking mind. And he just, he like, just eats nope. it all. Yeah, he just, just eats nope. it all. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna look that yeah, up because okay. I that's that that bombing that Lockerbie bombing happened so long ago for him to be confessing now. That is amazing, bro. A decade old confession in jail is key in the case against Gaddafi wow. era intelligence officer. Libyan politicians want to know how he Amy, you, Amy, it's nothing to be scared of. It's so minimal that it's really nothing to be scared of. But being scared of it is a bad thing because you would set yourself to a bad trip. That's what people don't realize. Before you take a hallucinogen, you have to be in the right mind frame before. Even if you're depressed, you got to kind of, you can't be like wallowing in your depression. It's going to hurt you. If you like, we always, before we dropped acid and shit, we would always smoke. Everybody smokes. We, you know, joking, you know, uh, busting on each other, whatever it was. Just so your spirits were up that little bit. Boom. Take it. You keep smoking and joking. Ah, Next thing you know, you're fucking crying, laughing. Your face hurts from laughing. <laughs> Why not? I'm gonna check that oh, out. Man. Why not? I, yeah, think I, mean, every, I think everyone should take acid, honestly. Yo, like what up, Mr. Age. X? Check this at out. A certain age, everyone should. 270 yeah, people died in the Lockerbie bombing in December 1988. That's how long ago it was. A Libyan wow. man accused of making the bomb, which destroyed Pan Am Flight 103 over Lockerbie 34 years ago 
is in United States custody. The U.S. announced charges against Abu Aguila Masood two years ago, alleging he had played a key role in the bombing. On this, in December 1988, the blast on board the Boeing 747 left 270 people dead. It is the deadliest terrorist incident to have taken place on British soil. All 259 passengers on crew on board the jumbo jet bound to the died, while another 11 people were killed in Lockerbie when wreckage destroyed their homes. Shit. Damn, 11 people that were just living their life in a plane film. Whoa. Last That's month, crazy. it was reported that Mr. Masood had been kidnapped by a militia group in Libya, leading to speculation that he was going to be handed over to the American authorities to stand mm. trial. That is crazy. Wow. 34 I years. Remember that. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. That was it big, that locker room. That was Qaddafi. They saying yeah. that, you know what I'm saying? Wow. That was a big deal. It is a big deal if they're still trying to get oh, yeah. the nigga to this day. You know what I'm saying? Like, still. Yes. Still. Yes. Mm-hmm. And check Brothers this out. Five years ago, he was serving a prison sentence in Libya for bomb making. So he still <laughs> loves doing what he do. Yo, so, yeah, this he, is he, the he, same dude that's featured again. on that, that one Netflix series where it's like the, the most wanted people in the world. Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah. El Mayo was one of them. This dude was mm. another one. I don't. He might have been. I don't know. Uh, he might have been. I'm not sure. Wow. But that's insane. He's got to be up in, like, you know, top most wanted list. I'm not sure which one, but. It's got to be alleged, alleged that. Too, right? It's alleged that say. while in jail, Mr. Masood confessed to being involved in the conspiracy to blow up the flight. He was in the custody of a warlord while he condemned for human rights abuses, he said. The circumstances in which such a confession was extracted would be strongly opposed in any U.S. or Scottish court. Wow, this is big stuff. i got to look into this. Yeah, so they're basically saying that if it were to go to court in America or Scotland, that it would probably, it would be a lawyer would fight it because of yeah. how they got the confession. They probably beat him to a bloody pulp. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the same problem they were having with Guantanamo. They're like, um, can't trust a confession out of a guy you starred for four months. Wow, man, this is crazy. Oh, I remember, sure we didn't understand. remember fucking flight, what is it, seven or what, a MH370 or whatever, the one that fucking disappeared over the Indian Ocean? Crazy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's like it just, just disappeared. It just yeah, they still don't know what happened. They don't know. They didn't find no plane. There's That's no bodies. Like, nothing. Usually, even with a crash, you get a couple pieces. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, That's unless it hits scare field. me, man. Unless it hits a field in Pennsylvania, then it's just a hole in the dirt. Yeah. Hey. Oh, the bomb looked like a cassette. Recorded in the plane. Damn. Crazy fucking place. Yeah, the world is nuts. <laughs> the bomb looked like a cassette recorder. Wow. Mr. X, my guy. That's crazy, Coco. It looked like a freaking cassette recorder. What up, X? I mean, if it has if it has electricity, some form of electricity running through it, some bomb maker could do something with it. Yeah, you you don't remember when I told that story about the guy that that um blew the nigga up in jail? Mm-hmm. You That's what I'm saying. When I told that story. There's a will, there's a way. Nigga blew him, made a bomb in jail, and told him, "Yo, tonight we're gonna talk on the phone. Go turn your phone on." And when he Turned it on. Oh, I remember that. Remember the serial killer dude. Oh, that story. Yeah, yeah the serial bomb, killer. Man. Exactly. Made a bomb, nigga, in jail. Yo, I've, seen regular elect- I've seen regular electricians turn battery-operated products into plugins. So yeah, that's you need just some fertilizer that's, or some electricity and then one or two other ingredients, and you yeah. you in business. Crazy. Nigga made a bomb in jail, made a, f- a fake phone, told him, yo, tonight we're going to talk on the phone to each other. He said, yo, you hear, can, I, can you hear me? The guy was like, yeah. He said, blew him out of his yeah. fucking cell, bro. And to this day, they don't know how he did it. Yeah, right? Like, how the fuck did you do that? They don't know how he did it. And he was a sick motherfucker, that dude. He had like 60 bodies. That's what I always wonder, though, too. It's like like with Ted Bundy, for example. They'll say, Ted Bundy is a sick, sick man. He killed all these people. It's like, 
So why would a sick person confess to something? Why would he be like, ha ha? He never did confess. Drunk. He never did confess. I'm just using him as an example, though, Tom. They'll say, you know, oh, he's well, he did person. in the end. Very, very. This but person he thought to kill 58 people, and he goes, ha ha, I killed 64. You'll never know. He only talked about it in the well, third person. Well, he, you know, he that, did, they just want attention. That's all they want. Yeah, that's attention. what I'm saying. They just want more attention. That dude, right? That dude, he had been, uh, they gave him life, right? He killed like 60 people, right? They only gave him the death penalty after he killed the guy in jail. Wow. This guy was a serial killer. He used to kill, he killed a baby. He killed, uh, yeah, he killed over uh, 50 people. You should be death penalty. Killed a baby, nigga. Dude, dude, that that dude, they they used, used to execute serial killers back in the day. In, in the exactly. Year. That's a lot. With Things have changed, bro. Things have changed. Tommy, I could I could go into a public place and just spray, right? What's going to happen to me? I'm going to spend my life in jail. Some of these people don't give a fuck about that. There's no fear. Now, like, let's say if they were like, look, if you kill more than two people at, in one, sh like a mass shooting, which is more than two people, you know, three, four, three and up. If you do that, you'll be executed, whether it be public hanging, whatever they use for my execution, guillotine, whatever. The guillotine was still being used in France in 1976. Star Wars was out and there were still people being guillotined. That just shows you it wasn't, you know, history doesn't tell us everything. But it's this just like if people kill have girls fear, and dump them in the swamp, the guy that I'm talking on, he killed like, let me see how many bodies he has. sick, bro. That, that person Maybe should be killed, dead. He killed the baby and, and, and sexually yeah. assaulted it. I don't even want to talk about That's what, what I'm saying, did. bro. Like those types of people should shit. be in the ground. This dude, bro. They should be, I don't know they why shouldn't they even be on death row nah. and all these fucking. Nah, 25 bro. years of uh get that dude out of here man appeal y'all got him living the high on the hog in jail you know what yeah. i'm saying get that nigga out of here living on the tax dollars use my tax dollars to put one in this computer some dudes need to be put down i'm sorry that's just the way it is what's up true bro sometimes a rabbit animal got to be put down that's right have you ever heard of arthur fish he was, a, so. he was called the Vampire of Brooklyn in the 1930s. He uh, he, he kidnapped kids. He was the, the original boogeyman. What's up, oh, Sammy? Bro. Love you, and, bro. Uh, he, he would cut them up, eat them. He, you know, he put their ears and noses in yeah. stew with carrots. He, he cut their genitals and their asses out, put them in the, roasted them in the oven. And what? they executed him. He tortured himself. Yeah. He stuck needles inside of himself and beat himself with a strap. You know how the people used to beat themselves with a strap? Like oh, if they yeah, had yeah. sadistic things, like they wanted to torture them. He used to enjoy that stuff. Some people are just mentally ill. And, yeah. and, and you know what? He was ruled insane. He was ruled sane so they could execute him. It was so heinous, yeah. they wanted him dead. Look, some people are just and like they that. Executed and they know that it's wrong. If they, they know that it's wrong, they should be executed. Here. You know? If I say to you, do you know killing those five women was wrong? And you go, yes. And I can and a, a psychiatrist says you're of sound mind, you should be put down. No fucking 10 years of appeals on death row. No, if you make any effort to cover it up, you're already. Yeah, already like if sound. you're put to death, then you should be killed. That's it. You're put to death. Once you try to cover it up, you're, you're, you're sane. But this then people will decide, try right? to say at the time of the homicide, you were insane. You know, the, that's guy's name, the guy's name was Donald Pee Wee Gaskins that I'm talking about. Tommy. Yeah, I remember you telling me about this Pee Wee, Pee Wee dude, right? Yeah. Yes. That's the dude in jail with this with the phone, right? Yeah, they, that made the bomb. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I remember you telling me about this dude. Yeah. Yo, what's up, bomb? Yo, what's up? You Pee said he had. You, you said he had sixty. What's up, man? What's up? What's up, fat boy? Yeah, yeah, chunky monkey. Big, right? <laughs> Oh, he, did. he got he got Yo, bigger. he looks almost the same size as a mirror when they're next to each other. I'm like, you're a year younger, dog. Hey, <laughs> He's gonna be a big boy. Man, man, come here, man, man. What's up, puppy? How you been? Gang. That nigga's big hey. boy. Man, man. What are you doing, <laughs> oh, What's up, puppy? What's fun. up? What's up, boy? He's trying to go in the front. Yeah, that's yeah. mirror right there. Yeah, yeah. He got big, yeah. right? What's up, mama? Oh my god, he's got hair now. Hey, Nana. Yeah, that's a mirror. He's got hair. He's big. What's oh up, Tulo? 
Yo, he really yeah, got that big. Huge. That nigga's huge. Look at this. And look, look at, at him. And look at him. Oh, my God. <laughs> <Man. laughs> look at that smile. Yo, <laughs> Bard, you, you're crazy over there, man. You just popping. <laughs> yeah. You got another one coming soon? <laughs> yeah, he's chunky, too, man. Look how chunky No more. He is. No more. No mas. Yeah, he's cute. Look at him. <laughs> oh, there's oh, yeah, Kevin's pregnant chunky. again? No, no mas. No, no mas. No, come on. No, you ain't you, you really. <laughs> Serious enough. Ron better stay off of my sister. Get off my no, sister. No, but listen, my cousin had kids like that. Yo, listen, my cousin had back to back like that. Like eight of them, bro. Like he was, What's he up, was Bobby? like, wow. He was like, whoa. Damn. What's up, Chula? Eight. Back to back to back to back to back to back to back. Like that. Oh, hell. Irish a couple years in between a couple. And she had Irish couplets. She had Irish couplets. Yo, look at this guy. Yeah, what's he up to? He's like, Dad, follow me. We're on a mission here. Yo, he is huge, though. He is. Yo, Amir, what you doing? What's up, Amir? Amir, Who's that, man, man? Amir, what's up? What you doing? <laughs> yeah, he's so cute, man. Yep. Look at him yeah, walking too. Belly. Yeah, look at that belly sticking. <laughs> I don't believe he's walking, man. It's yeah, crazy, man, I right? can't believe how well he's walking. How old is he? Like he dances, runs. <laughs> he ain't just walking. He's two stepping. Yeah, but how old is he? Like, What's up, Mama? Uh, he's like a year. Yeah, a year and a half. Year. Year and a half. What's, What's up with you? He's a year and a half, isn't he? Almost. Levy, what's, what's up? You okay? Yeah, I think you're right. It wasn't last summer. It was summer before that, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Levy, your hair is long. Yeah, it'll be true in August. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> what's up? What's up with um with uh Eden and uh um I always forget their names, bro. Elijah. Elijah, Elijah. Eden, um I forget Elijah with an A. Amir, uh, uh, it's yeah. Eden, Livy, Livy. Elijah, Livy, Amir, and Isaiah. This nigga, he just stays put. Forget the older, older guy. Yo, he got the whole best life, G. I'm jealous of his life. Look at him. He's living a yeah, good he, life. Yeah, he's he just chilling. Don't he look like super comfortable just watching TV and shit? Like, he's he has crazy. a life. He's, he's just doing it. Eden, Eden's the teammate. Thank you, Pamela. Appreciate that. That's yeah, it. Eden's the oldest. Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought. How, how oh, old got the is tree he up now? Already. We got our tree she up too, How old is he? Like six Where, months? You got yours up? Uh, what, G? Hold on. What? What's four? this? December? And he's huge. Four. Four, four months. Four months. Four months. Yeah. Yo, he's big for four months. Yeah, man. That's good though. He got all the other kids to help. You know, to 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 guide mm -hmm. him. Oh, uh, they got plenty of kids to play with. That's what's, that's mm -hmm. what's dope about having siblings like that. You could, you'll always be uh, this nigga like Mike. a lot now. Yeah, yo, yeah, them two are gonna like rule that school. Somebody's bro. tired, he's rubbing his eyes and everything. Them two are gonna rule that school. You have mm -hmm. two sons that close in age. It's gonna they'll probably be like a oh, fucking yeah. great apart. You know, one's the Delgado boys, <laughs> the Delgado brothers. Watch out, them for Delgado. Delgado brothers causing all the trouble. trouble. They're taking over. They're taking over the school. You're paying me your lunch money today. <laughs> what you call it? Um, starting five right there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They can play on the. They can both be offensive linemen, bro. One's a tackle, one's a guard. They play right next to each other their whole career. That'd be they dope. look like each other as it is. Yeah, that'd be dope. Mm -hmm. They look like twins. People are gonna think they're twins. Mm -hmm. He looks like Buddha. Mm -hmm. So, they're together. Oh, you love your brother? Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, he's touching me, though. Got yeah, he all right. I'm trying to lay down. Mm. I'm tired. <laughs> that couch is too no, comfy. The couch was too I'm comfy. That couch was too comfy for a sec. He thought about Dad, it. Dad, where's my box? <laughs> he's good money, though, the uh, um um the baby. Mm -hmm. What happened, puppy? Chunkito, chunky monkey. He's huge though. Mm. Cute kids, man. Yes, God is great, man. That's a fact. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna jump down, though, fellas. Good talking All with right, my man. brothers up here, though. You already know. 
Tommy, yeah. have a good day at work, bro. Barn, I'll yeah. you later, bro. Salute. Salute. Day is. He gets too big for a bob. He watching TV. He ain't trying to hear me for shit. <laughs> Beautiful. Salute, y'all. All right, Murph. Bye, Kels. Bye. Bye. She said bye. <laughs> yo, Mur uh, yo, Tommy, what you on break? What you yo, mob life. life. Farm, what'd you say, boy? My bad. I, I mean, I was talking to you. Okay. What's that? What's good, G? How you been, my brother? Regular, man. You know, so regular, smegular. Right, G? Smegular, regular, smegular. He, he said he asked you if you was on break. Uh, no, nah, I'm it's, it's I'm at a slow. I'm waiting for parts right now. So, yeah, a little slow time. Oh, okay. Can't can't do anything else till I get these parts to come in, and they're not <laughs> yeah. coming for another half hour or so. so I'm gonna wait. That's what's up. What time you get out of work? Five. Today. Okay. Tomorrow six. You gonna work on? I don't Christmas? work late. Mm, Christmas Eve, if it's on a weekday, I will. I might get out early, though. I'll be off Christmas. Okay. Christmas is just another day, man. Yeah, it is, good. but uh, I need to be there for my kids, you know? Hell yeah. It's, it's, for the kids, it's important. Yeah, for me, it's another day, bro. For real, for real, like, you know. God bless all the people that, that, that are homeless right now. Yeah, dude, because it's cold. Actually, it's warming on now with the sun, but yo, it's gonna be it's cold, bro. Kensington, they got fires going on every corner. It's yeah. just so bad, bro. Yeah, they got the burning fires right on the sidewalk, man. The cops make them put it out, then they make they light them right back up since the cops leave. It's cold. It's cold out there, man. I seen uh, Frank go through Kensington the other day, or it looked more cleaner for some reason to me. I think that, yo, since that big shooting at the bar, there's been way more police presence down there. I've noticed that. Remember that bar when they had that big shooting where they shot like 10 people, bystanders? There was like a mass shooting there. Um, ever since then, they've, they've had a lot of police. Mm hmm. A lot of police. Philly, Philly's, Philly's. Got it, got the record right now for people still getting out, so you know, it don't matter how many cops you know. <laughs> they, they're just there, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. They do, they got the record, man. It's crazy. But the and you know, who what other part of Philly is horrible that doesn't ever get talked about? West Philly, right now, bro. Yeah, West Philly, uh, dangerous these too. teenage gangs. No, they have these teenage gangs, man. These young, young boys coming up and. And they just they they're killing each other, bro. That's where a lot of the, 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 the old. You talking about what? Southwest? Yeah, Southwest and West and West too. Yeah, and West. Southwest, Southwest get they got them. They, they yeah, Southwest them. is real big. That 60th and Callahill, you know, you know, 60 Cal Gang, you know who I'm talking oh, about, hard, dude. dude. I'm like still running shit out there. What and, you call uh, it? Um, a lot of the old. Like the first niggas yeah, that were right. rapping coming out of Philly, all of them was from West Philly. Yeah, yeah Fresh West. Prince, uh, King, uh, what's that dude's name? Uh, Three Times uh, Dope, uh, Bugsy, um, Bugsy, um, what's his name? Steady B, Cool C, the dudes that robbed that bank and they got life. Oh, oh yeah, got the yeah. Penalty. They all from yeah. West Philly. The youngsters, they all from Black West Ma Philly. Black Mafia family was from all of the young. Uh, they from West Philly. That's Junior a Black Mafia family is from right. Southwest and West. That's yeah. right. The only the only rap group coming out of North Philly back then was um a tough crew. They were from North Philly, Puerto Rican niggas. Well, yeah, you're right, boy, with the Southwest. Yeah, big time. Yeah, Southwest, big time. Southwest, we Them niggas was drawn out there. They're wild, bro. They're so wild, bro. It's, it's just what, uh, crazy. That's what uh, this boy, uh, Leaf Ward. That's what Leaf Ward. You ever heard of Leaf Ward, uh, G Dot? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what Leaf Ward from, Southwest. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah. Where man. was PNB from? Kensington or North Philly? Or was he from out there? Germantown. From Germantown. Oh, yeah, Germantown. That's right, Germantown. My bad. Yeah. I forgot. Yeah, I forgot. Germantown. From Germantown. Shout out to Germantown. Rest in peace to, to PNB. Yeah. yeah. I was, me and Frank was locked up with him. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Barn, Barn was in inside yeah. with him. Barn got some <laughs> stories well, about not, PNB. Not not Rock. PNB mean his brother. Oh, I thought it was Rock. No, not Rock. His brother. Yeah, mean. I see mean all over uh, IG, man. Yeah, mean mean sing just like his brother. Yeah, he got yeah. They sing going too. Yeah, he sound just. They sound just alike. That's foul. You think man, his career is getting bro. better since his brother's death? Do you think his career is getting more noticed at all? No, I mean, mean means he he does more acting like he does like acting and shit like that. Yeah. So he he trying to he trying to take off on like his acting career, but he can sing. Okay. He definitely he definitely can sing though. They got a family of boxers out of Philly. We used to be playing chess in the yard. There's a boxing town. We used to be playing chess in the yard with, with, with all the bros and shit. Me and I'd be over there with the guys singing and all that. What you call it? Um, There's a family of boxers that's out of Philly that's off the hook right now. There's it's two brothers that are at, they fighting, but their father was a boxer. They got like a whole family that fights in Philly. These niggas is nasty. One of them had a fight like a, a few a month or two ago. You ain't talking about the boy that's related to Gilly, right? I'm gonna tell you his name right now. The Gilly got they got a gym out there. Yeah, Gilly got two cousins that's pro boxers right now. They got a gym out there. I'm gonna tell you right now. They nasty, son. Nasty. They had a fight. They had a fight. One of them had a fight the other day. Yeah, look at this shit, G. I got some uh, white runs right now. Yeah, the oh, runs is popping. The runs, yeah, everybody likes that runs. Man. Yeah, That's a they fact. the runs is They're small good, nuggets though. too. They're not big buds. Yeah, look. Mm-hmm. You said white yeah, runs. That's nice, hard. That's yeah. Nice, they they small bro. nuggets. They they're not big buds. They small like this. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, they bro. Small. But they good. They're that always like that. Good. They always like that. The runs yeah, they, always they, small. Oh, they be small. Always? That's why they call it runs like that? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's why they call it runs. Oh, Enos. I didn't even know that, Born. Jerron Enos. <laughs> yeah. Jerron Boots Enos. And the Enos oh, that family. Makes sense. That makes sense, though. <laughs> they run. Okay, they I, don't, run. I don't recognize that name, though. You recognize you that name, Born? Say that again. Tommy asked you if you recognize that nah, name. I, I haven't heard that name. I heard that name. Say the game, say the name again for him. What, what name? White Bronson. Bronson name. Oh, nah, Jerron, Jerron Enos. Jerron Enos, yeah. Jerron Enos. You know, you know who that is, Bar? Jerron Enos? Yeah, yeah, Jerron Boots Enos. Boots Enos. They got fam. The whole family gets busy. Them niggas are nasty. They yeah. yeah. must be uh, they from Germantown. And they got a gym, he said. Summertime, so, summertime be having a lot of fighters, bro. They got a gym out there. But that nigga Jerron Boots Enos, yo, he is nasty. That might be his stuff. gym, the gym that the, the he, Quinn's talking about. He said they mm -hmm. got a gym out in Germantown. They like, got a gym. Said. So the whole family. How many fight. gyms are out? How many gyms are in Germantown? They, uh, they got the Hollow. They got a few gyms in Germantown. Yeah. But these, these niggas, the Enos family, son, that nigga Jerron Boots Enos is stupid nice. The whole family fights. But he's an amateur, you said. It's two brothers that are pro right now. Now they pro. Oh, For six okay, years, he's pro. been a pro. He's, okay. he, I'm telling you, nigga. And he got a brother that fights, too. Yo, they're mad. But the Jerron Boots Enos, that's the one. He's going to be, like, he's on that type of time and, like, insanely good. Fights with both hands, got power, d defensive, don't get hit. Nasty nigga. Be on the lookout for him. Because then right now, uh, that kid Tiafimo Lopez is look, look like it's over for him. Oh, yeah. Looking bad for him, but he got beat up again. Yeah. Who got dirty beat up again? Uh, Lopez. Oh, like last week. Okay. They did him dirty, he dropped him. Everything. Cut his eye. 
He was running through niggas. Yo, uh, G, I was going to tell you, I don't know if you've seen it when I posted in the chat, you know, everybody that uh, are doing that micro dose with, with the mushrooms and stuff. Yeah. It, it like rewires your brain, it helps you with depression, anxiety. You know, it's yeah. natural. It's from the earth, it's natural. Mm -hmm. so everybody's like doing like micro dosing or, or like for like their mental health. If you, yeah. Are you feeling like you're stressed and stuff? It's like the chocolate bars too. You take a piece of chocolate. Where you get it? Where you get it? You know, Mike Tyson? Mike Tyson? I've seen the yeah. video, yeah. With game. Oh, okay. Heavy. Okay. He's heavy into that shit, G. Like, yeah, yeah, with game. That was a funny video, Quinn. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. He was tripping face. A lot of them are. Like, because, you know, all these medicines that the doctors are providing, you know what I'm saying? You get something natural from the earth and it's doing the same exact thing. Right. Better. So you don't yeah, do it. Man. To, you don't do it to freak, to like fucking hallucinate. You do it enough to, you you know, you do To just know. feel better. I got you. It's like you're tapering off of methadone. Yeah, I got you. You take a little tiny yeah. doses just so you feel better. I feel you're not tripping. You're not high. You just his, feel brother's, his brother's name is Derek Poo Enos and Farah Enos. They all fight. They from Philly. I got to look him up. Yeah, nigga. The, the father, too. But the but Boots is the one. Like, he's going to... Like, he's... You know, I'm telling you, he fights with left lefty and righty. Blocks everything. Hits hard, fast. He's only 23 years old. Like, he's going to be the one, son. Not my words. Who just uh did you hear about the David fight? Who? This nigga David supposed to fight the bull, the other uh Spanish kid that's undefeated. Yo, Bond, your for some reason your audio's really bad. It's been like that for a second, but I was hoping it would change, but I can't hear you too good. I'll be back. All right. Is it me, Tommy, or was it bad? Nah, it's bad. It's bad, right? <laughs> I was hoping it would get better. Yeah, I was hoping. It. It's hard for me to hear it. <laughs> nah, I feel you. <laughs> Shout out to my man, Vaughn, though. I, I, I want him to come yeah, back. Yeah, no doubt. Shout out to Vaughn. Get a GoFundMe going for a new microphone. <laughs> Shout the bonus, my boy. The new Yeti. Yeah, new Yeti. I got a brand new one there. I never use it. I'm about to sell that shit. Why? Why don't I'm you about to it? sell it? Hook it up. Nah, fuck that. I'm about you to sell it. You don't want to use it? <laughs> Is it a nice one? Yeah, it cost three hundred. When I bought it, it cost it three hundred. Okay, okay. Yeah, show some pictures of it, man. You probably be able to sell it right off the shelf. Yeah, yeah, I sell it. We're having a clearance sale over here. <laughs> yeah, we're having a clearance sale. <laughs> <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes they gotta go down. Yeah, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, you ain't even using it, you know? Yeah, it's just sitting there. Christmas of it's my grandfather, granddaughter. Wow, I'm sorry to hear that, Bobby. Yeah, Christmas ain't, it's overrated. You know, like I said, God bless the people that don't have a house. Homeless, don't got no family. Wow, Bobby. Uh, yeah, I'm really sorry to hear that, Bobby. You're definitely in my prayers. That's tough. That's really tough. What day does Christmas fall on today? This, this. Tell my man Bond to come back. That's my boy. He's enjoying his company. Let's see what day Christmas falls on. I still gotta go Christmas shopping. Oh, I hate doing you, that. I, I've done some of it, but I gotta do more. What you call it? Um, my Christmas list is short. It has zero people on it. I'm dead. 
Oh, Christmas Eve is on a Saturday. That's he dope. Says it has zero people. <laughs> what about your mother? She has enough stuff. Um. <laughs> <laughs> she got too much stuff as it is. <laughs> yeah, she's a hoarder. She got to get rid of some of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I feel you. <laughs> Now that's mama love, man. I give it. I give it a shirt off my back. Yeah, shout out to mama. Real. Mm-hmm. Damn, man, that's tough, Bobby. Three months old. Wow, it's a baby. It's a little baby. Yeah, man. I'm sorry to hear that, Bobby. Man, I got a friend, a, a very close friend, that. Uh, her granddaughter, her granddaughter as well, died from that from SIDS. You know, God bless all the angels, man. Mm. Yeah, man. Scary, man. God bless them, cool, cause they got a. She had another kid, and kid's doing good, you know. Yeah, you know, you got to listen, man. Like I said, Christmas is, is about children. It's for the children, really, because they get the gifts. You know, it's, they get to get off from school. So it's, it's especially fun for them. But for the adults, you know, they got to buy gifts and shit. If you broke, Christmas sucks. You know, I'm I'm like I'm blessed though. I don't wanna yo, I've been lucky, man. I, what's up, Layla? I remember when I was young, right? Every Christmas we would go to my grandmother's house. And my mother got six brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? So I got a bunch of cousins, you know. And um the house would be packed. The adults would be drinking, smoking bud. You know what I'm saying? That's good times. Those are good times. And um, I would walk out of there with $200. So I'd be happy. For a little kid, you know, you get $200. And then I say my mother or father throw me a little 100 So, you know, I got $300 around Christmas time. I'm good. Word. I remember for the for Christmas of 89, I bought my first, first pair of um, 89 or 88. I bought my first... Good Timberlands. It costed a hundred dollars. Straight up. Like the tax and everything was like a hundred and ten dollars. Fifteen, something like that. I was happy though. I was happy, bro. Word. Shout out to everybody, man. God, I wish I wish you guys the best Christmas. You know, I, pr I pray for health for you guys. Tomorrow we're gonna have the um the uh matter of fact, I'm gonna do it for Thursday. We're going to have the um, the Mapogo Lion documentary live. Oh, yeah? You're going to be able yeah. to show it? Well, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to show it, but if you want to watch it, I, I found the live, the documentary. A clear one, too. 1080p shit. Because the one on YouTube is like a recording of the TV. Like the guy used his phone and recorded the TV. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> like a bootleg. But yo, that that documentary is incredible, nigga. I used to do that until I figured out how to download. <laughs> yeah. Well, the the lion, the Mapogo uh, lion family, right? It had five males that lived because you know. 
uh, the odds of all five male lions living to adulthood is like one out of a hundred in, in Africa. You know, a lot of times they get killed. So they lived to be adults. They get pushed out of the pride, right? They go and they stay, they stick with each other. And there was another lion that had got accepted into the pride that they pushed out also. So he left with them. So it was six of them. And yo, they kill 40% of all the lions in that, in the Kruger park, they take over, they take over and it's bloody. They kill each other's babies. This is a bugged out documentary, really bloody and violent. You know, it took them 16 years or 17 years to film the documentary. I'm going to drop the, um, dude, that's wild. <laughs> Nigga, one of the one of the brothers kills and eats the other one's babies. Eats them. He kills or they kill the women, they eat them. Like this is a sick documentary. That's crazy. It is it's, it's but we're gonna we're gonna have a discussion about it. So I'm gonna drop the link to it to the channel that has the um I'll definitely check it out. I'm gonna jump down now. I gotta get back to work. All right, baby. Right, good we'll get that money. Good job. Slow to the chat. Damn, yo. All right, Bon. Momentito. The yellow sleeping. He's part of the Mapogo Lion Coalition. I don't know why they don't let me share it. Oh, hold up. I got this. Share. There it goes. There it goes. Here we go. Come on, YouTube. Where's YouTube at, babe? Copy URL. There we go. Okay, I'm going to drop the link to it. If anybody wants to watch it. It is the best lion documentary I've ever seen in my life. There you go. If you guys want to watch it, that's it right there. Crystal clear. And um, what's up, X? Yeah, shout to shout to St. Lazarus, that's my boy, man. It don't matter what how they hate him, he's still gonna win. How it sound, G? Much better. There's no echo or nothing? Nah. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. I don't sound too loud, do I? Mm. Nah, not really. Yo, sound I was I wanted to catch that 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 documentary, bro, because you know my lines on my shit, bro. And, and I dropped the link. I dropped the I link in the chat. I've never seen that documentary yet. I've seen the other ones, but I've never seen that family, that 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 pride right the there. The Pogos. Yeah. yeah. I've never seen them. Yeah, they they um they yo they 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 they, they sired. They killed forty percent of the the lion population. They took yeah. over. Yeah, they had like a 16 year run. Yeah, running six shit. brothers. Never right. has that even nigga. They kill women, they kill female lions, they eat them, they kill baby lions, and even it gets bloody in that shit. Yeah, they get they killed do. too. I don't want to blow up the spot too much, but they get a, a, they get they get it too. That's what yeah, I'm, gonna say. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna check that shit out, bro. In, in a bloody way, they get it in a bloody fucking way, bro. In a, in a, in a bloody way, in a bloody. Yes, nigga. And they show it. 
you know, a lot of times they might not show what happens to the, the lion or they show a little piece. They show the whole thing, bro. They, 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 whatever they dished out, they get back, you know, but that's life of the jungle. That's not, those are lions being lions. Hey, how the family doing, man? Yeah, we Gucci. Mama loves Gucci. I was just with her like two days ago. That's love. And, and everybody's good. You know, they had, um, they had kicked my nephew out of school, man. It's this bum bitch was dropped 14 complaints on my nephew and got him kicked out of school. What? And um, yeah, they just fired that stupid bitch. Oh shit, I got a jail call real quick. No doubt. Yeah, yo, Mr. X, man, you know, they can't stop Laz. Laz's channel is, she's good, thank you, Pamela. Laz's channel is too good. Laz is a good nigga. If anybody makes a video about Laz, that shows you they just don't got nothing better to do because Laz don't talk about nobody. So that's sucker shit right there. You know, but that's why, that's why I don't be on a lot of chats, man, because there's a lot of sucker shit going on. Did what I'm saying? Shout out to Laz. I support him. You know, whenever I can, I throw him a little super chat or, you know, whatever, man. Free free Shasha, too. I shared the video on my thing. That's a brother's been in, in Rikers Island for 44 months, and he's innocent. So free him. All right, Victor. You know, that's that's the part. That's the thing about YouTube, man. People will just fucking start making videos about you. Let me tell you something. As far as that PC shit, he came out and said he was in PC. Unwillingly, they put him in PC. So why would you make a video about that? Or about his case? He was a little kid, man. That's a fact, true. Too much cloud chasing, envy, jealousy. A lot of times it be niggas that's around you. Don't sleep on people that are around you, man. It's because the niggas fucking says I love you or tells you he, you know, he's your friend or, you know, don't sleep. A lot of times it be niggas around you, man. You know, they might not say your name, but they they talking about you. You know. Or they might not even say your name and talk about you, but in their heart, they hating on you. You dig? That's why I'm very cautious, man. Do me. I'll be on G Dub Quinn channel doing G Dub Quinn. Might go slide to my man True real quick. Shout him out. Not to keep pushing. You know, Laz is a good dude though. To keep to keep it on Laz, he don't deserve nobody. Um, you know, doing nothing bad to him. Like I said, whatever happened with his case, he was young, and he don't even talk about his case. You know, he was young and he paid his dues. He did his time and he, he changed his life. You know, and a lot of any, a lot of these niggas talking that PC shit, they will go to the island and if they get, they catch all types of, they cat wild drama, they sign in too, you know. You dig? You, or you could get put in PC unwillingly. That happens on Rikers Island, it's called IPC. That's a fact, true. You know, a lot of niggas is jealous, man. Talking about they're your people, and then they be up fucking talking about you behind your back, or, 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 you know, hating on you on the low. Like that's not a good look. You know, I don't worry about what the next man does, and if you, my man, I just support you. I don't critic your shit. I don't fucking try to bring you down. I don't talk about you. I don't make lives about you. I don't do none of that. I support you and that's it. What you do on your channel is none of my business. You dig? Shout out to my nigga Mac Me. And shout out to um uh Mikey B. That's another good dude. He don't be talking about nobody. He does his lives on some positivity shit. He spreads the positive word. He helps out in the community. That's that's a fucking role model. 
Not niggas up here gossiping, talking about other fucking people. Pretending they're your friend and they're not. You know? Act like they're your friend and the fucking minute they get a chance, they stick a knife right in your back. That's why, man, I be careful, B. Like I said, be careful who's around you, bro. Be very careful, man. Yeah, shout out to Mac. That's the homie. I would never give you a hug and tell you I love you and, and, and then fucking go on my live and talk shit about you. That's as low as it gets. You feel me? But that's how I feel about it. And if people don't feel about it that way, that's on them. You know, I don't worry about what the next man does. Period. You know what that makes you a bochinchoso or bochinchosa. For the people that don't speak Spanish, that's a gossiper. It's a person who just gossips all the fucking time and is judgmental and talks about people. I don't know. I, I can't speak for nobody else, but that shit turns my stomach. That makes my stomach turn. When people, all they do is talk about other people all fucking day. Especially when you're supposed to be, that's your friend. You know? Sometimes, I've seen situations where people be around niggas, they don't even know that motherfucker talks about you like a dog. You know what I'm saying? A woman talks about that women, men, whoever. Yeah, being hated on by your peoples. That ain't your peoples, though. If there's a nigga, let me tell you something. You got some people, right, that they don't mind if a person does bad about them and, and they, they still fuck with them. I don't know. That's it is what it is, you know. Not me. I'm, I see you moving, walkie. You out of here. I got enough friends. A friend is a dollar in my motherfucking Robin jeans, nigga. That's a friend. But it's a lot of that going around, man. You know? Can't be mad at me because I don't want to be around you because you're a piece of shit. Or you fucking, you know? Like, you made your bed, you got to lie in it. Why would I want to fuck with somebody, man or woman, that is just a low life, no good? Always talking about people, always trying to stab somebody in the back. And this is just a blanket statement, because there's a lot of motherfuckers like that. If this is who you are, then I'm talking to you. If the shoe fits, put it on. Real simple. If the, if you don't fit that criteria, you don't have nothing to worry about. I ain't talking about you. If it don't apply, let it fly. But there be a lot of sucker shit going on. I'm just not for that. I'm in my perfect no. Do I do wrong sometimes? Yes. Do I do I hurt people's feelings sometimes? Yes. But not purposely. And if I do, I'm making my business to apologize to that person and curb it. Stop doing that. What good is a fucking apology if you don't change that behavior? Yeah. But Pamela, there's a lot of that goes on. Trust me. You know, a person might not even know it because unless they see that person talking about them, or someone else informs them and tells them, yo, don't fuck with that. That dude ain't no good, right? Or sometimes you tell a person about that and they don't, they love the person so much, they get mad at you. So that's why I'm cautious as to who, you know, you know, I'm very cautious because you might tell a nigga, yo, look, that dude is no good. He talks about you. He's jealous of you. And they might tell you, nah, that's my friend. What the fuck? And go fuck with the other nigga. 
and you be the odd man out. So what I do is, if I see a nigga's a bozo, right, I don't fuck with them. Right? And if I see a nigga that's a bozo and I see a good nigga, what I do is I hope that he catches on. You know what I'm saying? I just hope they catch on because, you know, it's not worth your your sanity or your um your well being to fucking no doubt, no doubt, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's not worth it. Focus on you. That's the best advice I could give to anybody. Focus on yourself. That's how you make yourself a better person. And that's how you keep yourself from being in other people's business. That's the best advice I could give. It's free advice, too. It don't cost no money. I don't want no donations. I don't want no uh, thank yous. That's just free advice. You know? A lot of times niggas be like, oh, this nigga that, oh, this nigga this, oh, but you t t worry about you, my nigga. And that way you you be a better person. And then we all could be better people. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are fucking, um, what's, what's that shit called too? Um, hypocritical. You be like, yo, they always pointing fingers at people. Oh, that nigga's a rat right there. But the minute you catch a case, you start telling it. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of that shit too. You know? I just try to always get with positivity. Like I want to be around positive people. People that could better me as an individual. And you know, there's enough fucking drama in the world. Now it's a fact, true. There's enough drama in this world, man. Fuck, I want to... Why would I want people around me that are about drama? Is then that going to bring you lead you into that? Yeah, I agree, Becky. But listen, unfortunately, that's the world we live in. You know, all you can hope for, right, is if someone is not good for you what's up breezy god shows you that because once god shows you that that a person or persons because it don't have to be one person it could be a group of people look at that girl that went to um um uh what's her name the the, the girl that went to mexico that she paid for that trip took like four or five people with her and they killed her you feel me May she rest in peace. She went to a trip in Mexico, paid for everybody's trip, and they killed her. And then they and then they they all lied to her mother and said that it was um she died of alcohol poisoning. Those are supposed to be her quote unquote friends. You feel me? Be careful, man. Be careful. I forget her name. You know what I'm saying? But may she rest in peace, man. She died a horrible death. Because when they called, when the police came, she was dying. She was, um, they had broke her neck. You know what I'm saying? May she rest in peace. Let me find her name because I want to give her her respect. Give me one moment. May she rest in peace. She died a horrible death, man. And the, and the, and she was having a fight with one of them, right? I don't know if the the I don't know if that was a man or a woman because the guy was hitting the, the if it was a girl that's the, a strong woman. It might have been a, a transgender because she was hitting her hard, man. 
Shanquilla Robinson, may she rest in peace, man. These are supposed to be her friends. You know? That's your friends, you know what I'm saying? That's your fucking plotting on you. I think it was a dude too, Scotland. I, you know, I just had that funny feeling. She was hitting hard. God damn. And if it would listen, if it was a man, how how bad is that though? That you a man and you killing this woman like that, bro. But it was it was it was a group effort because they say one of them broke her neck. She died of a broken neck. May she rest in peace, man. That's a terrible situation, bro. You know, but they she paid for the fucking trip. They're supposed to be her friends, man. They went to school with each other. You know. If that's that, that if that's what they consider friends, I'm good. I got enough. Got plenty of friends. You know. Yeah, man. If you if you see the video though, you could feel it. You could feel the tension. You could see that they they wasn't feeling her like that. Like it was fake. You know. It's just a bad situation, man. And she rest in peace, man. It's sad, man. They fucked now, bro, because they, they caught that case in Mexico. Okay? And there is no good thing about jail in Mexico. Yeah, that was cruel. There's nothing good about Mexican jail. It's terrible. It's even worse for people that don't speak Spanish or American. Like, pff, they finished. They're going to regret that. They fucked up. That goes to show you how fucking stupid people are. You know? That goes to show you how stupid people are, bro. How Greek that you look. Let me tell you something. Do you know what that is? That's that's karma coming to get his dues because you thought you was gonna go on a fucking vacation, let somebody else pay for it, like a grease ball. That's some grease ball shit. Beat her up, and nothing was gonna happen. Everything was gonna be fine. And, and God showed you why it pays to be a good person. Now you're going to suffer. She suffered for a few hours. You're going to suffer forever now. They lucky they get tacos in fucking Mexico. They lucky, bro. Those jails are fucking insane. Niggas got guns in those, those jails, machetes. They shoot dope in them jails. The fucking inmates run it. You could get killed like that in those jails. There's nothing. You'd be begging for Rikers Island. You fucking be praying to go to Rikers Island in one of them jails. Shanquella Robinson. What's her name? Yeah, I put it in the thing. I put the rest in peace. If you rest in peace, bro. No, Yo, yeah, I mean, what's up, boy? My bad. I was on a jail call, bro. It's all good. Free the homie. Yeah, this should be out next year, my little brother. What's up? Free Macho. Yeah, oh, you remember his name? That's what's up. Yeah. That's dope. Hell yeah, he just got out the hole. Oh yeah, yeah, he was in the hole for like five months. What jail he's in? 
He's in PA. He's in Dallas. All right. He's in SCI Dallas. You said, what was it? What you said? SCI Dallas. Oh. Yeah, that's one of the older jails. What the SCI stands for? State Correctional Institution? You know it. Yeah. I asked because I wanted to know if he was in the one that um, uh, Bernard Hopkins was in. Yeah, we all go through there. We all go through there. Oh, that's a reception jail? It, it, at, at one point it was. And um, he um, uh, what happened? Did. Bernard Hopkins yeah. just was on cadre. He was, they he stayed in um, in population. Yeah. No, no, because you know how sometimes, like in New York, right? Let's say um, I went through downstate. Downstate is a reception jail, right? They keep a certain amount of prisoners, and they put them on what's called cadre. And those are the niggas that stay in the jail, do they bid there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, in that case, yeah, because he stayed there and did his bid there. Right, okay. Yeah. Shout out to Hopkins, man. That's the homie. B Hop. Yo, B-hop. I was the only nigga that took B Hop against Trinidad that day and cleaned up house. Yeah, nigga. Hey, you smart. Yo, I swear on everything I love, G. Everybody's like, yeah, Tito. I was like, I love All the Tito, Puerto bro. Ricans, right? All the yeah, Puerto Ricans. I was Ricans. like, I love Tito, but mm-hmm. motherfucking Bernard Hopkins hit hard as shit. Yeah, he just, he's amazing. He's a defensive yeah, specialist. Yeah, of offensive. Yeah. He's amazing, what? bro. That nigga B-Hop was crazy. It's amazing. He's one of the best. Top five. Fortunately, he was 50-something years old. Yeah. Won a bunch of different weight divisions. Yeah, and he still got his brain. He still, yeah, he barely got hit. Mm-hmm. And he did like five, six, seven years or something like that. So, Yo, what's up? Did you are you tapping into the Megan and Stallion and, and Tory trial? It, it starts today. I didn't even know that. Yeah, the Megan and Stallion and Tory Lane's trial starts today. I heard he's on um, looking good for him though. I heard they, you know, he got money. She, yeah, and, and you know, she switched the pitch up a, a few times, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll be decent. Now, you know me, nigga. Yeah, free the men. I'm free the men. I don't never want to see nobody go to jail. I mean, I, I mean, I don't, I wasn't there. I don't know what happened. So I'm not mm-hmm. making no motherfucking assumption, but free mm-hmm. the men. Yeah. For real. People free get shot all the time, B. Free the man, free the real, and kill all the rapists in the fake. Yeah, that's it. Uh, uh, like Cameron said, niggas get shot every day, B. Every day, B. <laughs> niggas get shot every day, B. <laughs> Yo, Kenny, what's good, man? Salute to your chat, man. What's popping, chat? Shout out to the chat. Man, Yo. The chat is dope. Chat is what keep us going. Y'all that's believe it or not, the chat, y'all play a big, 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 big uh factor in this here uh YouTube streets. Mm-hmm. Yup. That nigga, that nigga on um, Tory Lanez is like five foot four. Megan the Stallion is like six feet. <laughs> Yo, but Megan the Stallion, she running through all them niggas. She yeah. fucked this nigga, the baby. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fucking, uh who else? Uh yeah. Tory. Yeah. Uh, who else? Uh, it was somebody else uh, recently. It was just somebody else recently. Who the fuck was that it? That is funny. That nigga Tory Bro, running through them six footers. Shot to Tory, man. <laughs> <laughs> <For real. laughs> it's like six feet making the stallion. Mm-hmm. Tory Lane's like five foot four. He's like, I'm going to climb that big ass tree. <laughs> 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 He's like, I'm gonna climb this tree. He put a saddle yeah. on. Yeah. He said, Yeehaw. Yo, salute to uh Breezy, man. Breezy got one of the most uh comeback uh YouTube. Oh, uh, she should get a comeback YouTube award. She's gonna get a Tubi. Yeah, what's up, Rich? A, a, a content creator comeback. She's got it. Her chat's popping. You been over there? Yeah, yeah. I, I was over there the other day. Yeah, she had, she be having like 18, 20 people over there. That's what's up. Salute to Breezy. That's what's up. Shout out to Breezy, man. 
Yeah, Kenny Cutthroat. Yo, Kenny, yo, fuck Lil Cuddy, man. Lil Cuddy. I told I told Kenny that Lil Cuddy don't want no smoke with, with Rocky. You think you think Lil Cuddy can fuck with Rocky? Um I don't I don't know who's Lil Cuddy. Oh, you never seen Lil Cuddy on Kenny? Mm -mm. Um, oh yeah, he got this puppet, man. His name Lil Cuddy. <laughs> he got a puppet, he be on the screen with him and everything, chilling. No doubt. Yeah, his name Lil Cuddy. Yo, Rich Martinez in the building. Yo, X. Let me, yo, like I was talking about this early, right? You know what, you know what gets your ratings up and when you're going to have um, 200 people when you start beefing all the time and you talk about people and you, and I'm, it, it is what it is. Like I said, I ain't knocking nobody's hustle, but that's what attracts a crowd. Or yeah, this, this is changing now, g -Duck. Why you say that? YouTube is changing. YouTube is, is getting strict. Yeah. But, um, I'm just saying like sensationalized stuff. Like when people oh, talk yeah. about Hassan Campbell, Oh or, yeah, that's or, a fact. Yeah, yeah. That 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 you know you know when you do stuff like that, or you know this guy's beefing with that guy, and y'all y'all have them both on your show, and you know that if we was listen, let me tell you something. This is real shit. If I start talking shit about anybody right now, you know what I'm saying? These these the numbers will go through the roof. Or if let's say I start beefing about somebody and they pop up right now, me and them start going at it. There'll be a hundred people in here. That's a fact. People love drama and 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 and. That's a fact. That's, that's a fact. just the way it is. They love to see fights. Yeah. That's just the way it is. Niggas just love to see niggas go through it and all that. But, but I ain't giving that shit no more energy at all. Fuck that. Not this mm -hmm. shit. I ain't giving none of that shit. I don't give a fuck. You can make a thousand videos of whatever you want. I don't give a fuck. Shit, it is what it is. I'm yeah. Like, fuck. Like, Your drama attracts a crowd, man. You dig what I'm saying? I just try to stay away from all that bullshit. That's just me. I don't. I don't hate on nobody if that's what they into. At all, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever makes you happy. You dig what I'm saying? That's what it is. Now, I'm, I'm look. I'm gonna I'm give my example. Look, my man Mac Mean, right? He be he be into it with niggas, right? He, but he's one of the few niggas that I enjoy going to his lives. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, shout out to Mac Mean, man. Yeah, like I'll go to his shit and and, and and I'll enjoy a little bit of bullshit real quick. But I don't do it all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like I go over there and um, like he he'll have, he'll pull this idiot up. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Reyes, right? Like the other day, he had um, he he had the rapper nigga um. From the from the from the loonies. What's his name, bro? Yuck mouth, yuck mouth. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. And the nigga, yo, the yuck mouth nigga kicked Ray his off the panel, right? <laughs> <laughs> The nigga that be like, hey, you guys. Yuck Mouth, the nigga from the Loonies that they made that song. I got five on it. Oh, oh shit, I'm dead. I'm thinking you said the Goonies. No, the rapper, nigga. The, real, the rapper, <laughs> nigga. He kicked Ray off the fucking panel. Oh, shit, I'm dead. I'm over here I, thinking you talking about, you talking about the, the Yuck Mouth nigga from the Goonies. Oh. Nah, nigga, the rapper, nigga, the nigga that made Haka Five. Yeah, I know, I know who you're talking about now. <laughs> now I know. <laughs> I was dying, nigga. I'm motherfucking dead. Yo, nigga. Oh, yo. and he kicked Reyes off the panel. He kicked Reyes off the panel. He said, he said just like this to Mac Me. He's like, yo, who the fuck is this bozo? Get this nigga <laughs> the fuck out of here. 
and Matt kicked him off the pen. <laughs> Yo, oh shit! Yeah. But he that, said just like this. He said, "Who him and Mac cool are cool, though, right? I thought fuck. him and Mac was cool. Who? Uh, him and Reyes. Uh, well, you know, Mac lets him on the panel. He kicks him off. He brings him back on. Oh, you know what? Oh yeah, yeah. Shit, I used to do. I used yeah. to bring him off and kick him off. But it's funny yeah. because he, yeah, he, I miss that shit though. For real, for real. What you call it? Um. Wow. Um, what you call it? Um, damn, I wish I was in the chat. I would have been nigga. He um, he said he said just like this. Yo, who the fuck is this bird ass troll nigga? Get him the fuck out of. He's a widow. Mm -hmm. Just like that. So I'm saying, I'm saying, um, um, you know, even even this nigga can't just control himself around nobody. You know what I'm saying? So, but like I said, I don't, I don't really fuck with that, with that, you know, sensationalism, drama, shit. But that day it was funny. So I, you know, every now and then I treat myself to a little, like I fuck with Mac. Mac, Mac, do it. You know, I enjoy his shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And that's my nigga too. So I never, I, I've been like, I breezed through his channel a few times, but I never like sat back and, and like was in the chat for like the whole, like a whole show. But yeah, yeah. yeah. And, but he be having like he'll have a hundred plus niggas in there. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I've seen, I've seen people, I've, people I've seen like that. Than, yeah, I've know? seen more than that. Mm -hmm. People like when they people talk about Hassan Campbell, or they bring, you know, they they talk about stuff like that, or they, you know, it is what it is. You know. I've, I ain't been paying attention to the chat, but as, as I pay attention, I see there's some drama going on right now. Yeah, you see that shit? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the love chat. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Kenny's the motherfucking building. But, but, you know, Breezy can handle herself and, and X, you know, those are two adults. You know what I'm saying? Try not to, you know. Can't you know? Sometimes, what can I do? You know, if it gets too, if, you know, if it gets too crazy, that's when I step in. You no, know? that's the bell. <laughs> yeah, that's the bell. Ding. The text message. Yeah. What's up, Linda? Yo, what up, Linda? Salute. Yeah, that's my girl. It's it's Linda215, you heard? Mm-hmm. That's my girl, Linda. There's a thin line between love and hate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It bees like that sometimes. Yeah, sometimes that's how the cookie crumbles. Yeah. But you got to learn how to pick yourself back up, bro. Yeah, you know. YouTube is bugged out, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't. You can't. You can't pay too much mind to this YouTube nah, shit. Nah, you can't. You can't. Um, this, shit will, this shit will drive. Look, we had some dope people here that's been driven away because of mm -hmm. the bullshit. Bullshit. Yeah. People, yeah. people don't want to be around that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, what's the boy? What um, my man from the UK that used to always come oh, around. Oh, that was my dude. Yeah, I forget his name. What was his name? Anybody in the channel in the chat know? Uh, what the fuck was his name? Damn, man, Tommy know his name. Murph would know it. Yeah. Anybody that been around should know it. Pamela, Pamela should know it. What the fuck? I'm gonna ask Heaven. Heaven should know. He had a regular name too, like um, yeah. Tommy or Johnny or Danny. Danny. Danny, there you go. Danny. See, Pamela. I knew Pamela. Yeah, Pamela's on point. Yeah, I knew Pamela would know. Danny, look, where the fuck happened to Danny? Danny just fucking disappeared. Triple Pete. Yeah, Danny was a good dude, but he's 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 real. You know, he has mental health to worry about, and this shit'll fuck with your mental health. Yo, if you're not the fucking <laughs> that name is dope. Per perpetual. What? Yeah, that's my homie from from, from um Australia. Yeah, that's to see a you, Triple P. Yeah, that's a dope ass name. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, that's a dope name. Oh uh, yeah, I love platypuses. <laughs> no, no, yeah. no. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Danny was cool, man. Danny used to be smoking with us, joking with us. Yeah, it's all good, X man. Just leave it alone, my nigga. Like you know how we do here, man. I'm not with all that. You know, there's women here. There's ladies here. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's be let's be uh, uh, a gentleman. Mr. X, X behave. You know, X my peoples too. You know, I don't. Well, I X just, is my, that's my guy. Mr. Yeah. X is my guy. You know, I try not to really like. You know, I don't. I don't okay. fuck with people, man. You know, if that's you know, it'd be a situation between two adults. You know, low key, Mr. X been around for a minute. Yeah, X. Yes, my dude, man. I'll be sending them documentaries and shit. You know. We men, you know. Yo, but you see the you see the babies, they look just alike, right? What happened? You seen the babies, they look just alike, right? Yeah, they're beautiful. All right, it's over now, Breezy. Y'all got your shit off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Breezy. Yeah. Breezy war over. ready. Breezy been war ready. And Breezy got a channel too. Anybody, you know, got an yeah, issue. Yeah. Go, go to her channel. Yeah, and, she, and she with all the smoke. Yeah, she with all of that. You know, all the smoke. Yeah, I could go over there and, and fuck with Breezy, Breezy. Breezy probably going live after me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Breezy with all the smoke. She with all that shit. This shit crazy, man. Yeah, man. Like, um, hey, yeah. hey, but look, a shout out to us, man. We still breathing. We still alive. That's right. You know, we we yeah, got man. another year, another year yeah, coming, man. another year down. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Look, Lord willing, God willing, he, he mm -hmm. blesses us with a with a uh, with a uh, great year, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right, man. I'm, God bless I'm everyone. The, yeah, if I'm wait, waiting for the weather to, to um break because then the money comes when it's warmer. You know what I'm yeah. saying? When it gets cold, man, be too cold to be running around out there. Yeah, but what Jigga said, he said, "I sleep cold winters, wake up and spit summers." Mm -hmm. Get over Pushing Will Smith numbers. It's a fact. It's a fact. Yeah, man. You know, I try. I try to. I try to change my myself as a person. Like I'm speaking about me. You know, like I feel like I was. You know, like all, all the things that I was done. You know, raised wrong with. I try to change. You know what I'm saying? Like I try to like. Because I'm getting ready to get up out of here soon. I'm almost fifty years old. It's gonna it's gonna come sooner than later. You know what I'm saying? Nah, and I just want to be tripping. you tripping, nigga. You young as hell. No, no, I'm I'm saying nah. Because let's say let's say a nigga goes out when he's seventy, right? That's that's twenty years goes by like that. Yeah, I mean you got. That's why you gotta live every day like it's yeah, bad. yeah, so, yeah. You know. However you want to live your life, that's how you live it. Mm-hmm. And and um, what you put way, it on. Whatever way you want to live it, live your life. And I just try to do get better and better. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know, just be the best person I can be. What's up, Poppy? What's up, Nene? Huh? What are you doing? It's me. Huh? It's still cute. What are you doing? Hmm? What's what? Up? What's up? What's up with you? Look, he rocks back and forth, Dito. God bless him. That nigga's looking to, good, though. My mom, my mom said I used to do that. Ah, yeah, Bobby. <laughs> he's happy. He's healthy. Mm -hmm. That's all that matters, bro. Hey. Yeah, that's right. Ah. What are you doing? Yeah. God bless them, bro. Yeah, they got they got COVID. Oh yeah, him and the baby. But they they um they stronger now with it. You know what I'm saying? Thank God, man. Thank God. They had it before, right? Is it, they they had it already once? Not not the baby. Not the baby. Not the baby. This one did though. What? He's talking a lot, nigga. Yeah, yeah right. papi. Like the whole team. <laughs> Live he's off the hook. What's up, nigga? You okay, papi? Here is cough. Vito. Yeah. God bless him, bro. 
How old is he now? He's one. One, one, 12 months, one. Yeah, he just, uh, man, man, he, he turned one in August. That's the straw. Yeah, he turned one in August. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch him. He's loose with his hands, so he be, yeah, he be to, yeah, he be trying to smack her in the face and shit. Watch, yeah, gotta, watch. <laughs> What's up, Papi? Yeah, he be he loose with his hands. Yeah, yeah. So he got this. That's my got girl him. right there too. This right here. Watch, watch, watch him hit the watch him hit the bag. Let's him hit the bag. What's up, Livy? Oh. Right. I shall see. What's up, Papi? You, you a boxer? <laughs> ah, I think it's a boxer. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> That's it. You got the. You training him in, in MMA, Livy? <laughs> Livy's all oh, boy. Yo, her hair's so long. Yeah, my hair. Yeah. You lucky that you even got here. <laughs> no, no sitting on my lap. No, 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 no. no. Off the hook. Yeah, no. <laughs> off the hook, off the hook. All of them, right? When they all together, I can imagine when her, Elijah, all of them. Eden's older, so she's is she helps y'all. <laughs> uh, you cuckoo for cocoa puffs. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you a tiger. <laughs> Look at this right. nigga in the background. He got a bottle from somewhere. No. <laughs> yeah. no. He found a bottle. Oh, get down. No. Get down. <laughs> you want me to tell mommy? <laughs> mommy. Call, what? You know what? You being naughty. Where's the elf at? Look. I'm gonna tell the elf. Look, we got, the elf is looking at you. No, look. I don't see him looking yeah. at me. Yeah, because he's hanging all the way up here. Look, he's hanging. Oh, the elf is right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's hanging. He's right there. Yeah. He's chilling. Yep. He's. But don't touch him. I'm not touching him. He's watching you. No, he's watching me. He's watching you. But he's watching. Me. G He's watching G up. G up is in the building. <laughs> Hope you find your yeah, AirPods. Yo, what up, Bev? She said, "Hey, look at this guy." See, Everybody has it. What up, up, Bev? Bev? You gotta put him on solo so you can see him. See what's, what's up? up? Hold on a second. I got you, Bobby. Say what's up, guys. Yo, what's up, big fella? What are you doing? <laughs> See, what's he, up? Looks, Look. he looks like he's more calm than Amir. Mm -hmm. like he's just chilling. Mm -hmm. he's like he's got a relax, like he's relaxed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's up, Papi? Yeah, yeah, Pamela said, I, re I remember when Libby was a baby. I know, g up too. Yeah, 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 when she was a baby. All of them were babies at first. Yeah, yeah. All of them. See, what's up, gang? See, what's gang, up? Gang, gang, what up? See, how you gang, doing? Gang, what up? See, what's going on? He's on. Say hi. Say hi. No, you Mr. Happy Feet, huh? Heavy feet. That's the big boy right there. Yeah, he's a tank. He's a tank. <laughs> he looks what like his doing? brother a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. What you doing over here? This ain't yours. Pick it up. 
give me this. That's not your bottle. He be taking the baby bottles. No, nah, I don't mean like now. I'm just saying that, um, you know, like I said, even 20 years is fat. Who knows? Let's say a nigga lived to be 80 years old. You know how fast 80 years goes? That's why you got to just try to be the best person you could be. That's a fact. You try to change every day and get better as a person, as a human being, you know? Especially niggas that come from the ghetto because we had a disadvantage. We come from all that... um dysfunction you know it's not normal to be seeing people shoot dope up all around you and people being shot and niggas gang banging and shooting each other and acting crazy that's not a normal way to grow up <laughs> Yo, this nigga uh, said, GW, you young as shit, talking about you going to die. You <laughs> never know when it's going to come, though. This nigga barely 50. Oh, you 50, J. No, I'm 49, but the, the thing that I'm saying is, um, let's say God blesses you with 70 years, right? Right. That, if you 50, 20 years you goes take, by like that. Take, yeah, I mean, you got to take however many years it yeah. give you. Yeah. You don't know when that's what I'm saying. You don't know when he's gonna come for you. Right. You feel me? You never know when he's gonna call for you. Look at my man Steve, man. I gotta call his mother today. That was my man. He was a king too, man. May he rest in peace. That was my road dog. Man, he no, was a that, fish that. nigga. No, that's that's me. You all right? What's wrong? What? Yeah, you start to change too. You know, the older you get, your body starts to break down after a while. Unless you one of these people that's blessed with the with the um genetics of like uh Jennifer Lopez or one of them people, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit. But you know, when you get it touched to your body, you know. How you uh? How you feel though? How 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 do you feel? You know. Hey G, I'm a, yes, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you go, bro. I'm a. Uh, all right, all kids. right, all right, Boncito. All right, salute, my brother. Catch you on the rebound. Shot to Bond in his his starting five. <laughs> Nigga, Bond got a starting five. Yeah, Pamela, that's a fact. You got to start. You know, like me. I'm just talk about me. Like I be, I trying to change. You know, all the, all the, all the anything negative. I try to get it away from me because it is, it deters from your quality of life. You know what I'm saying? You know, this it's so much we don't know about. Like, you know, there's so much that has to do with your life that you may not even understand. You know, like positive energy and eating the right foods and exercise and all that shit is so important man so important shout out to triple p <laughs> shout out to australia man you know, I, I would love to have a platypus man straight up i mean i'm talking about the animal <laughs> You know what I'm saying? They they are just so cute. But you those are not something you could just have because that's a that's an aquatic animal. You gotta have a, a like a lake in your in your you gotta have lakers of land and a and a lake and you gotta have like a veterinarian that lives in your house. 
Yeah, raise your vibration. That's right. Triple P. That's what I'm talking about, right? You know, especially people like us that come from the ghetto. Like I said, we can't come from. I'm telling you, I, I, I seen a few people be killed, man. And that, we ain't going to get into it, niggas. I seen get stabbed, cut, shot, beat. By the time I was four or five years old, I was already seeing people get killed and shot and all that type of shit. You know, that shit is not normal. You're not supposed to grow up like that. It does something to you. So I'm I'm over here trying to unwash my brain. You know, you throw in all the years of fucking drug abuse. The few years that I was in jail. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it does something to you. Shout out to all my niggas that did 20 years, 30 years, man. And, and kept it strong, yo. Shout to Mikey B, Moshe. Shout to uh, Killer Kev, man. Dudes that ride it in Attica. Shout to uh, Soul B. These is men, you know, strong, thorough men that I respect. Shout to uh, uh, damn, what's my man's name that Nikki Boss told on him? Um. Guy Fisher, the Honorable Guy Fisher. What's up, Nate? You know, all these dudes that survived depression. Nelson Mandela, you know, these are people that survived extreme oppression. Yeah, I tried, um, Platypus. You know, I try to keep it positive. You dig? It ain't no, it ain't no it's the easiest thing to do, but you know, like I said, I don't. There's a lot of shit going on on other channels. You know, there's plenty of beef and drama on other channels. You dig? I don't. I would. I would rather have 20 people in my chat, and it's respectful and positive, than have 150 people, and it's messy. You know. Fighting all the time, disrespect, just is not something I want around me. You dig? And that's me. Like I said, I don't I don't judge nobody. You know, if you got a hundred people in your chat and you're you know you into this, that, and the third, so be it. But a per the next person eat, don't make me shit. You know, or vice versa. You know, you may like that. Which is fine with me. You know. Yeah, you know, gotta keep it, you know, respectful. You dig? And like I said, that's just me. You know what the next man does on his channel? I do not care. Shout out to my man St. Laz, he got a real good positive channel. And look, there be a hundred and something niggas on this chat, so that shows you you don't have to go the negative route all the time. You know, shout to Mikey B. You know, there'll be 50, 60, 70 people on his chat. I've seen it go past a hundred before. Salute, Nate. You know, it don't always got to be negative. You dig what I'm saying? And then every now and then, like I said, I, I enjoy a, a chat that's mixy. Look at my, like a shout to my man, Mac Mean. That's my boy. You know, sometimes he has a chat that's lit like that. He'll have this dickhead Venezuela up there, or, you know, and I, and I laugh at it, and that's it. Shout to my son, Bullish Gotti, too. And that's what it is, man. I'm going to get up out of here, man. God bless everybody. God is great. Be thankful for your life. You dig? We're going to do the Tubies Friday at 7 o'clock. You heard? Be there, be square. You might get an award. Or you might not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I go through. I shall holler at you, Breezy. Do what you do. 
You know, everybody do their own thing. Support Breezy's channel. You know, I'm about supporting everybody's channel, man. Even if I don't, even if it's a channel I don't be on, I, I, I um, I shout it out. I don't got no drama with nobody. Shout out to my man Zeke Black too. It's my boy. And look at Zeke. Zeke did good with his channel. Right, I'm gonna get up out of here, man. Love y'all. God is great. Rest in peace, um, Stephen. Uh.